Yet, the statute makes it a felony to record any of those. Judged in terms of the legislative purpose of protecting conversational privacy, the statute's scope is simply too broad. We hold that the recording provision is unconstitutional on its face because a substantial number of its applications violate the First Amendment. When you purchase gold or silver from Amagi Metals using my affiliate link, gold.fppradio.com, you help fund FPP Radio News. That's gold.fppradio.com. The annual Digital Music Report, released Tuesday by the International Federation of the Phonographic Industry, has found that the recording industry is making more money from fan-made mashups, lip-syncing, and tributes on YouTube than from official music videos. Francis Keeling, head of digital business at UMG Global, said, It's a massive growth area. We are very excited about the creativity of consumers using our repertoire and creating their own versions of our videos. YouTube, which is owned by Google, monitors uploaded videos and alerts record companies when a user uploads content that uses a copyrighted song. The report explains, rather than order the video removed for copyright infringement, the record companies can instead choose to run ads before and during the video, making money off the video's views. For example, a video of comedian Steve Cardinal wearing a bikini and lip-syncing Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe for unsuspecting viewers on Chat Roulette racked up more than 14 million views, which earned ad dollars for the record label behind Jepsen's hit single. FPP Radio News is brought to you by $6 Shirts. $6 Shirts is one of the top t-shirt companies on the web, and they want to be the t-shirt company for the Bitcoin marketplace. They actually give priority to all Bitcoin orders. Go look at their shirts. They're witty, hip, smart, and liberty-oriented. Shop $6 Shirts using my affiliate link, 6.fppradio.com, and help support FPP Radio News. That's 6.fppradio.com. Theodora Tony Nathan, the 1972 Libertarian Party candidate for vice president, passed away yesterday morning at the age of 91. Nathan was a charter member of the National Libertarian Party, which was founded in 1971. At the first Libertarian Party presidential nominating convention in 1972, she was selected to run for vice president with Libertarian presidential candidate John Hospers. A Republican Virginia elector, Roger McBride, chose to vote for Hospers and Nathan in that 1972 election rather than casting his electoral votes for Nixon and Agnew, making Nathan the first woman in U.S. history to receive an electoral vote in the Electoral College. She was also the first Jewish person in America to receive an electoral vote and to gain a nomination to run for vice president. Following her vice presidential run, she ran for office several times as a libertarian candidate during the 70s through the 90s for federal and state offices. Jeffrey J. Neal, chairman of the Libertarian National Committee, said, It is with sadness that we learn the news of the passing of our friend, Tony Nathan, a great and history-making libertarian. We celebrate her life and her accomplishments. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. A new report from the National Center for Education shows that an alarming 10% of U.S. high school students graduate without basic object permanence skills. According to the study, a growing number of American seniors are lagging behind their international counterparts when it comes to the crucial knowledge that things don't just disappear if you're not looking at them. Because it exists even if your eyes can't see it. Am I making sense? No. U.S. high schoolers have dropped to 17th in science, 25th in math, and a troubling 180th place in the basic cognitive awareness most humans develop as toddlers. Secretary of Education Arnie Duncan is asking Congress to fund increased after-school disguise and reveal programs. It's time to get the kids excited to learn the most obvious mental concepts that make us capable of functioning. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to do better. It's just I don't know how I'm supposed to learn anything if I don't even have a teacher. I'm still here, Vanessa. (sighs) Some educators worry that too much focus placed on object permanence might take away from other important skills, such as not touching hot things that could burn you. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. 
You can bring up anything you want toll free, 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. You can join us on our website at freetalklive.com. Enjoy archives and interactive features like you being able to create the content there on the front page of the website, which is really awesome for us because it means we don't have to do as much show prep. Um, because you can tell us what you think is important. We don't have to guess at what our listeners, you, think is interesting. So you go to freetalklive.com, you scroll down the page, you'll see content created by listeners just like you. Maybe it was you. Uh, everybody's name is there by what they've submitted. And it uh, looks like there's some really interesting stuff there today. Google encrypts all Gmail messages after NSA snooping uh, is the number two story there. And boy bullied at school, so school punishes the victim, banning him from wearing his friendship is magic backpack. The top two stories right now. Oh, at, that's the My Little Pony thing. I haven't I haven't even looked at it yet, uh, Daryl. Honestly, we've got calls to start out here the show tonight. Plus, Daryl, you brought in something to discuss uh, about Hawaii and the prostitution laws there, apparently allowing police to actually have sex with the prostitutes. We'll yes. get into that here in a moment. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. But if you want to get interactive on the website, go to freetalklive.com. You do need a Reddit account in order to vote up and down on different the different stories that you'll see there and also to submit uh, content to the front page of the website. But it's very easy to, to link your Free Talk Live account to the Reddit account. And it's free, of course, so go to freetalklive.com. Get interactive and enjoy. Let's start things out with your phone calls, though. Shane is listening in Tennessee. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Daryl. What's going on, Ian and Daryl? I just wanted to share my don't take the plea deal experience for for a traffic court today. It was kind of empowering to got a ticket a few weeks ago, and you know, told the officer that I would I would be taking it to trial. Basically, uh, tried to press the story. Went to court today, and the judge uh, got up and basically give us spill. Anybody that'll plead guilty to the ticket, we're going to go ahead and dismiss the the ticket. You just played court costs. So, mm. uh, how there, much so are then, court costs there in Tennessee? Uh, I don't know. I live in a, a rural county. Uh, I never had any experiences in this court. You know, that's one of the questions I asked somebody, and I wasn't able to, you know, get any uh, good accurate figures. I know in uh, uh, Connecting County, it's about eighty-six bucks or something like that. So, okay. um, you know, basically it was seventy-five and a fifty-five, and I've got a commercial driver's license, so I wasn't interested in, in, in having that on there anyway. So get to the end and they never called my name so i you know flagged the, the bailiff over and he says well yeah we've got you on the docket um but we can't find your ticket if you'll just plead guilty i said you know i'm, I'm not interested in pleading guilty Hold on. Uh, <laughs> we, we can't find your ticket so just go ahead and give us guilty. money basically exactly basically it was we're, we're having trouble locating it you know for, well he took the ticket went back in the back and he come back said well we can't find this ticket you are just wanting to plead guilty and have it dismissed i said well is uh the, the trooper that wrote the citation here today they said well he's not here either i said well i'd like <laughs> to go to a trial then and and there was a couple people that did uh go to trial today and essentially you know it was just uh the the trooper was there and he gave his side and then the judge gave the other person the opportunity to give their side and everybody that had a trial was found guilty and the, sure. the fine was five dollars five dollars plus court costs so i figured worst case scenario you know this is this thing's going to go on my record and i'm going to pay an extra five bucks so you know the the, tro the trooper then comes pulls me aside and he said you know what's going on you know this you just need to plead guilty to this and uh you know you see my word as gold in this county. You see every case I went to trial today. I said, yeah, but you weren't the citing officer. Well, you know, this judge is pretty hard. He he pretty well sticks by the book. And, wow. You know, more, more and and right. By the book, yeah, he yeah. means as long as yeah. one of the guys with the little badge says something, it's the gospel truth. And, sure. and he I, takes our word as mm -hmm. more valuable than anybody else's. And I and I must admit, I mean, I was you know extre uh, extremely nervous, and and, I, and I'm thinking, you know what, you're always preaching this stuff to everybody. It's, it's time to just stand on principles and, and do it. So I said, no, I want to I want to take it to trial. So the bailiff he goes and tries to find a ticket. They're gone. They leave me sitting there for a good, seemed like 20 minutes. It may have been five. I don't know. But he finally come back and said, uh, you know, we, we can't find this. What do you want to do? I said, I want to go to trial. So <laughs> I think they had some people there for some other. Uh, you know, uh, DUIs and different type of traffic stops that weren't, you know, just speed related. So he'd come back in and I was the first one to come and he said, uh, how do you plead? And I said, not guilty, but your honor, I, uh, 
I ask that uh, this be dismissed based on failure to prosecute, based on the fact that there's no witnesses here to testify against me and the, the court has no evidence against me. And he said, you know, son, today's your lucky day. Uh, based on the fact that the troopers and the court clerk didn't file the appropriate paperwork, I have no other uh, recourse but to dismiss this ticket. And then nice. he's dismissed. And, and then I said, uh, one second, you know, he gets last. I said, I'm going to receive something in writing, you know, basically. So got the ticket and you know i just want you know, in one of your videos on on youtube uh situation you had where you got pulled over it's kind of what inspired me to uh to do a situation where you went and the trooper didn't show up you know some other trooper comes spoke with you and basically it's kind of a weird conversation he said is there anything you want to tell me and he said no and i guess you got the ticket throughout before you even able to get your tripod set up and that's kind of what uh, <laughs> inspired me to you know take it you know take it to that to that level so uh, awesome well i'm glad that it worked out for you now i'm it's just a question about something you said the people who sure. they did have a trooper in there testifying against them they were only being fined five dollars plus court costs is that what you said? that's exactly what happened essentially the judge the, were these the also judge, speeding tickets yeah, some of them, just most of them, they were all traffic violation, traffic violation, you know, some of them were, you know, speeding plus a, a light being out. One guy, um... I mean, that sounds, seems like a real light uh, fine for any kind of traffic ticket. In Alabama, a seatbelt violation is $10. Hmm. In South Carolina, a seatbelt violation is $25. Wow. Okay. No court cost on either, in either state. In Tennessee. Okay. Nice. So, you know, I didn't mean to cut you out there, but... You know, I just uh, and one guy he lost control of his vehicle. He, he was in a wreck. There was no, uh, there was no one. One of the guys that took it to trial, there was no uh, other vehicles involved. Uh, the trooper just basically said, based on the, the skid marks and stuff, you know, the man. Uh, I forgot what they call the charge, but essentially, to my understanding, was you know the guy just failed to maintain control of his vehicle. You know, there was no drugs or alcohol involved, and the, the guy essentially said, you know, I hit a patch of ice, and mm. when I got when I come over into the oncoming lane, uh, there was a car fixing to hit me, so it was either hit the brake and let them hit me or hit the gas and gun it to get out of his way, and that's why I went down the embankment. And he was still found, you know, guilty and ordered, you know, $5 plus uh, <laughs> plus court costs. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with it and just want to encourage anybody to... Uh, to, to do the same, you know, yeah. I try to talk to, talk to a lot of people. As long as you know what you're getting into, uh, there are a variety of court costs around the country. I know that in Florida, it's hundreds of dollars for the court costs there. So in a lot of cases, it's probably not worth uh, trying to clog up the system if it's going to end up costing you dramatically more after the fact if you get found guilty. And you're pretty much guaranteed to be found guilty if their agent is there to testify against you. But even in some cases, that's not true. Daryl, you've won a parking ticket case yeah. where uh, they were there to testify against you. You didn't win the next one. Uh, but, so there's no real consistency in right, you know, right. whether or not you can win these things or not. Shane, I'm glad that it worked out for you. And thanks for calling and sharing your story here tonight on Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number is 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. And of course, I don't blame anybody for taking a plea deal. Look, I don't. You know, nobody wants to go to court. Nobody wants to spend time in that place if they can avoid it. And certainly, if it's going to cost you more money down the line, as far as uh, court costs and things like that, then it doesn't make sense. Here in New Hampshire, you can not take the plea on a five-dollar parking ticket, and when you get found guilty, you just owe five bucks at that point. And in a lot of a lot of cases, you can do community service rather than actually pay. Although I think you've been paying in pennies, right? Uh, uh, the last time, yes, I paid in pennies. So I've actually got a plea deal related story here. That's an update on a case that we talked about last year. If you recall, there was a man in Fayetteville, North Carolina, who was a, I guess he's a rapper. He was outside of a what's his name like X-ray, a liquor store. I will find his name for you here in a little bit. Christopher Lamont Be- uh, Beatty is right, but his he's real got a, he's got a rapper name, Extravagant or Extrav. Yeah. Anyway, he was drinking some iced tea outside of a liquor store, and an undercover cop arrested him and assaulted him for it. We'll give you an update on his case here in a little bit. Eight fifty five, four fifty free. Plus, the police in Hawaii want to have sex with prostitutes. It's free talk live. 
to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world. And one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends. To prove just how good it is, we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience. All you do is cover shipping. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Buzzbox Coffee is organic, so it contains no pesticides or toxins. It's shade grown, so less acidity and no heartburn. It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938, 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. We know you're out there. We can feel you now. We know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. We don't know the future. We aren't here to tell you how this is going to end. We're here to tell you how it's going to begin. We're going back to editing the next edition of Freedom's Phoenix Digital Magazine now, where we are telling the people what you don't want them to know. We're showing them a world without you, a world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries, a world where anything is possible. Where we go from there is a choice we leave to you. Subscribe at freedomsphoenixeasy.com. That's freedoms with an S, phoenixeasy.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. When I signed up for the Free State Project, I was excited by the prospect of moving somewhere with other people that had liberty as a goal. When I got here to New Hampshire, I was stunned by the great weather and the natural beauty. The Free State Project is helping to move liberty forward. Want to be involved? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. That's freestateproject.org. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and of course... You can bring up whatever you want here toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, we've got Skype, by the way. You can Skype into the show at username lrn.fm. You will need to send a contact request, and that'll be approved, meaning it'll be easy for you to connect with us on Skype from that point forward. So again, username lrn.fm. With you tonight, it's Ian. And Daryl. 
and Daryl joining us courtesy of his website, fpp.cc. In fact, uh, you made the news recently, Daryl, sort of. Uh, at least your newspaper kind of made the news. Yes. We talked last night about how uh, there was some activists, or some activists, one in particular, Liberty Carrots in Manchester, who actually went to the Manchester airport with a rifle slung to his back. He was handing out your newspaper to yes. people, which was really awesome. What a great way to get FPP News into in front of new eyes. Yeah, and... I saw that the Nashua Telegraph ran an article, but I did not did. read that article. Did they mention the newspaper in the article at I all? I don't think they did, no. But nonetheless, more people saw FPP News, which was great. That's one of the things that you offer at FPP.cc. What else? There's weekly commentary, daily news. There are books. There's radio, which that's over now at FPPradio.com where I have all of the audio forms of myself. All of the written is there at fpp.cc. Leader Amp is something that you want to check out if you're into the idea of being a better leader. In fact, most people want to get ahead in life, and nearly all of Free Talk Live's listeners would like to persuade more people toward freedom. But did you know that some of the solutions that claim to help you grow can actually backfire? The good news is that 70 years of science shows that even the best leaders can get better, but only if they practice in ways that actually work. Dr. Matt Barney, founder of LeaderAmp, and by the way, a longtime listener of Free Talk Live, has coached and taught thousands of successful leaders around the world for the last 20 years using the latest science of what actually works. Dr. Barney has drafted blueprints for a new smartphone application that will measure each person and tailor a customized developmental plan, some of which will be pushed to your smartphone. His vision is to build a community who can access approaches that really work and support each other's development as leaders. Uniquely, it'll allow you to compare your leadership with famous historical leaders like Gandhi or Steve Jobs and help you to see that they weren't perfect but overcame their own limitations with practice. The app isn't ready yet. It's currently being built, but if you want to help advance an approach to grow freedom lovers' persuasion skills, we would love for you to join the community. Go and pre-order on Indiegogo by visiting leaderamp.freetalklive.com. It's a short URL that we've come up with to help you get to the Indiegogo campaign. Amp your leadership by going to leaderamp.freetalklive.com. So to the story here, the update, on what's happening with uh, the rapper Extravagant, or Extrav, from Fayetteville, North Carolina, who was attacked by a plainclothes beverage cop. The story from PoliceStateUSA.com. If you don't recall the story, uh, he was just hanging out in a parking lot, maybe for a short bit after Waiting his friends Waiting on some were, friends. Yeah, his friends were in the store or something like that. And uh, he was approached and uh, accosted and attacked and arrested. By a plainclothes officer. Now, even though the man was innocent and only drinking tea, he was drinking, I believe, an Arnold, Arnold Palmer, as they are called. Yes. It's, uh, was that half tea, tea half and lemonade? lemonade? Prosecutors are still trying to set him up with probation and community service. The incident took place on the evening of April 27, 2013. Two men were standing by their vehicle waiting for their friends to arrive in the parking lot of the state owned ABC liquor store. And this again in North Carolina. One man, Christopher Lamont Beatty, was holding a canned beverage while his friend Tino Brown was recording video using his cell phone. That's when the two were interrupted by a man who was interested in the man's choice of refreshments. Beatty, who also goes by the name Extravagant or Extrav, as his rapping persona began receiving harassment about the can that he was holding. A man in plain clothes claiming to be the police insisted that he turn over his beverage for an inspection. Beatty refused the stranger's request and pointed out that it was an Arizona brand drink, half and half iced tea and pink lemonade, not alcohol. And by the way, in my opinion, this guy was fully within his rights, that is, the, the rapper was fully within his rights to refuse the search. Yes. Just because a man approaches you and says, even if he was in uniform, and he wasn't, but even if this guy was in uniform, just because somebody says, hand that over, I want to see what you're drinking. Where's the probable cause? Right. What what obligation do you have to hand over whatever it is that you're, you're drinking out of? And if you watch the video, he clearly shows, he's like, this is what it is. It's Arnold Palmer half and half. Right. <laughs> it's Can tea. you read? And I mean, There's I mean, no alcohol in this. Right. Would it even be, pro I mean, maybe he would have probable cause if it was an obvious liquor bottle. 
But even then, I'm not so sure. If it was in a brown bag, mm. that would give some kind of probable cause. You because think? It's very suspicious for one to keep a bottle or a can inside a brown bag while drinking from it. So, uh, going on here, Brown and Beatty pointed out they didn't know the identity of the nosy man and that Beatty had committed no crime. Still, the man demanded to examine his beverage and would not take no for an answer. The stranger then claimed Beatty was under arrest. He became grabby and ended up putting Beatty in a chokehold as he took him to the ground. The bully, who turned out to be an alcohol and beverage control law enforcement officer named Lick, excuse me, Rick Libero, forced Mr. Beatty face down onto the concrete and placed him in handcuffs. Tino Brown, the videographer, had been recording the whole incident and documented the labeling on the can, showing clearly it was a non-alcoholic drink. Beatty was arrested and taken to jail. He was charged with two crimes, second-degree trespass and resisting a public officer. Months have gone by, and the prosecution has offered a deal. The government is requesting that Beatty, quote, submit to a year of probation, do 24 hours of community service, have a mental health assessment, and, what? and submit to drug testing and warrantless searches. This according to the Fayetteville Observer. Beatty says, it would get dismissed at the end, but I would still have to take responsibility for my actions, and I felt like I did nothing wrong. Beatty could also potentially take this to trial in which a jury of his peers would have the opportunity to vindicate him of this unjust charge. So as of right now, Beatty has not yet made a decision as to whether or not he's going to take that plea deal. He said that uh, the arrest is from the Fayetteville Observer had caused him to lose a job last year right after he'd been hired. The open charges have since made it hard for him to get work. If he accepts the deferred prosecution, he said the charges would officially remain open for another year before being dismissed. And that would continue to impede his efforts to get a job. And if he doesn't accept the deal, he will be going to trial. According to, uh, let's see, I'm not sure who this is. Let's, uh, Rogers recommends, this is, uh, who is Rogers? I'm not real clear on that. I believe that may be his public defender. But anyway, someone's recommending he take the deal. Quote, this is a compromise resolution that gives us a guaranteed result. As a lawyer, when you're representing folks, your goal is to try to get the best possible outcome. The best outcome is one that we can control. And at this point, he would end up with no conviction. I can't say I agree with that assessment. Just go ahead. Let them put you on probation, even though you did nothing wrong. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. It, it, it is his lawyer. It doesn't say whether or not he's a public defender, but he sure does sound like a public defender. If I was paying an attorney to give advice like that, I would be really upset. Yeah. More on the way. You can share your thoughts on this story or anything on your mind. It's Free Talk Live. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a block at Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. I'm Nick Soboleski, a SelectQuote agent with a true story of how SelectQuote goes to bat for you buying term life insurance. A while back, a man called me who had had prostate cancer. He asked if I could beat a very high quote another life insurance agent had given him. I said, let me see. Well, I took his pertinent information, then shopped the highly rated, price-competitive companies we represent, and found one who pre-approved him for a premium way below what he had been quoted. When it comes to term life insurance, no other company touches SelectQuote's experience and expertise in finding the right policy at the right price for almost anyone. How about you? For your free quote, call 1-800-945-1041. 
That's 1-800-945-1041. 1-800-945-1041. Or go to selectquote.com. We shop, you save. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves toll-free at 855-450-FREE. We're reviewing the case of the rapper in the liquor store parking lot who was arrested for drinking an Ulmer... I cannot pronounce... Arnold Arnold. Palmer. Arnold Palmer in the parking lot, which is not illegal to drink lemonade and iced tea in public. It should be. Why? Because lemonade and iced tea mixed together is horrible. It doesn't and sound Arnold horrible. Palmer is egotistical, and nothing else should be named <laughs> after that guy. Well, I don't know anything about Arnold Palmer, um, but it doesn't sound He, he bad wrote to a me. big giant check to the local airport in the city that he grew up in uh-huh. and then was quoted in the local paper It's such an honor to have the airport in my hometown named after me. They only did it because he gave them a bunch of money. So I don't know. I, I can't really say He's that, an I've, egotist. that I've had lemonade combined with iced tea, but it sounds it's like not, it'd be good. It's not that good. It sounds like it'd be good. Well, anyway, this guy liked it, and he was enjoying it in the, in the parking lot of the liquor store while waiting for some friends, was attacked by a police officer, and is now facing probation if he takes the plea deal. And that's the question. Is he going to take the deal? His attorney is encouraging him to do so. We'll get back into the story here and, and share your thoughts. Your toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. What would you do in his case, especially if you're familiar with the video and you've seen how absolutely outrageous this is? So uh, we'll get to your calls next. Also want to remind you about Pro XPN. If you care about privacy, you need to have Pro XPN. It's a global virtual private network. That encrypts your online data, meaning that before it reaches your internet service provider, whatever it is you're doing online will be encrypted, so therefore your ISP will no longer be able to record what you're doing. They will have no idea, in point of fact, what you're doing with their internet connection because everything you do will be encrypted by ProXPN. You can go and get started with it right now by going to proxpn.com slash FTL. Download their app for Windows, Mac, iOS, or Android devices. There's also instructions for Linux users. You will need to email ProXPN to get those instructions, but it's actually pretty easy to get it set up for Linux. 
Anyway, did you know that your internet service provider is probably logging everything you do for mm, at least six months, probably as long as five years in a lot of cases? You can stop that by going and getting ProXPN. ProXPN.com slash FTL. There is a free account, so you can just start right now and try it out and see how you feel about the, you know, how it works. It's very, very simple. You just install the software and you click connect. There are some options you can tweak if you want to, if you're the, the tweaker type. But if you just want to, just install the software and get started with ProXPN. When you're ready to upgrade to premium, you can do that with our discount code and save 20% for the lifetime of your account by using discount code FTL20. That's FTL20 at ProXPN.com slash FTL. If you buy their annual plan, that breaks the price down to $5 per month when you use our discount code FTL20. And you get a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. So there's really nothing to lose but your privacy. ProXPN.com slash FTL, promo code FTL20 as we go to your phone calls and thoughts. Dave in Nevada on the amp lines. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Daryl. Hey, guys. Um, I wanted to uh, just comment real briefly on the story you're talking about, and then I, I uh, wanted to talk about one of the stories you were talking about yesterday. On the, the one you're talking about at the, the gas station, um, I saw that video a while ago, and I believe... The guy who filmed it actually did an interview on Alex Jones, and, and the whole thing is just ridiculous. But what's even more ridiculous is the fact that courts don't drop these things anymore. Um, they, 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 they prosecute, you know, little crimes like this, you know, to the fullest extent of the law. And a lot of the, uh, you know, the district attorneys or city attorneys, their bonuses are based on, you know, whether they win these cases or plead out. And it's just, well, when they plead out, you know, they don't get penalized. But it's just, it, it's it's ridiculous. Well, he's going to get penalized. He's, I mean, he's no, no. Right. He's saying the cop won't get the, penalized oh. when the guy right, right. takes a plea. Oh no, of course not. That's why they the encourage. Cop yeah, the right. cop wouldn't be penalized even if he went to trial and was found not guilty. Well, I'm talking about the the uh, prosecuting attorneys that if they plead out or you know they don't get penalized, but if they drop the charges, it goes against them and they don't get their bonus or something. Hmm. Um, which which kind of is an incentive for these these prosecutors just to prosecute everything. You know, and it's crazy because they're prosecuting ridiculous crimes. Uh, but I wanted to uh, yesterday um, in the maybe the last hour or so of the show where you guys were talking about the ninja with the BB gun, uh, which I thought was some great some great radio yesterday. But um, one of the, I, I just wanted to comment on that real briefly. And, you're talking and, and for I our listeners that uh, may not have been tuned in. You're talking about the story in Connecticut happened in November on a, uh, a university campus. State University. There was a young man, 21 years old, son of a uh, one of the teachers. There came onto campus after a long weekend of partying over Halloween weekend. He shown up uh, on campus with his Halloween costume on, which was a allegedly a plastic sword, although the police are claiming it's real. And uh, there's also a uh, I guess a BB gun involved, and maybe some sort of a blade that a uh, knife that he might have had on him. He was wearing sort of a ninja outfit. Ninjas don't carry guns? Well, maybe a newer ninja uh, might. But anyway, in this case, he was running across the campus. Some people called the police. The police came out with 70 state police. They came out with officers from around the area, that the, the, t the city that they were in, as well as surrounding towns. Uh, they literally brought in like over 100 officers for this response, this ridiculous response. They emptied out an entire dorm. They went in room to room, held uh, held these young men at, uh, at gunpoint that were in there, forced them to exit the building. There was the Bearcat. There was a helicopter. And then they tried to bill, and they wanted to bill this guy, this young man, for all of the overtime. We overreacted, then, right. so now pay us money. Yeah, so that's kind of a summary of what the story was. Go ahead with your thoughts, Dave. Yeah, I, and, and I actually uh, posted something on the, the, free, the free Talk Live AMP page that, and, and I know he's not there today, uh, but it was kind of, you know, of course the story is disturbing to me, but it was really, and I wish he was there in the studio, but it was kind of disturbing to me the point of view that Mark took on that where he was basically saying that the kid should be responsible and, you know, that um, he should pay something or and it wasn't really the fault of, of the police. 
And, you know, for somebody that I, I, I know supports freedom and liberty, and, and I usually Mark has a lot of great things to say, it did make for great radio that you guys were were um, arguing there, and, and, and you, you know, basically, um, I totally agree with your point of view, but what disturbs me even more is that a lot of people have that same point of view where they mm-hmm. think like, oh, well, what if there's another shooting? We need to make sure you know, that we show up with 100 officers or whatever in a helicopter because what if this person went crazy and it's like you're taking something that happens, you know, 0.0001% of the time and you're saying that, oh, well, just in case, and it's like, well, just in case we should spy on everybody and just in case we need to do this and we need to do that. And that's what's kind of really disturbing to me when people have that opinion. All right, Dave, I I sort of want to play devil's advocate here for a second and ask the question, in a society, let's pretend that we live in a society where the police are not paid directly through extortion. And by extortion, I mean, you know, through tax dollars. Tax tax money, yeah. Or, you know, the revenue generation that they do of stopping people for, you know— Oh, you were going five miles over the speed limit. Give us money. The people that commit actual crimes, should those people not then be responsible for paying the police for going after them and fighting that actual crime? I mean, if it's an actual crime, it's it's hard to say because then you're going to have people, you know, like some of the more serious crimes – they, they might be in jail for the rest of their lives anyway. Um, you, you know, I, I, I don't know, to be honest. That, that's hard to say. I know in this case, I mean, you know, it's obviously the police are, are the ones who determined, you know, overreacted and, and brought all right, those In this people. case, but there was no crime. Somebody... In this case, at best, right, right. you had a violation of school policy. Right. And, uh, Dave, thanks for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. Uh, I also was disturbed by Mark's perspective on this. It was like he had gone back to the old Mark, which was more, you know, police kind of friendly, I guess. <laughs> police state friendly. <laughs> more coming up. This is Free Talk Live. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. Hey everyone, have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host, Cheryl, for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-No has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors, so it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card, and you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call one 800 9 That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night, 
from there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, and we'll, of course, take your calls about anything you want to discuss. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And, of course, you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. You like the show and you want to help support Free Talk Live, then become a Free Talk Live amplifier over at amp.freetalklive.com. AMP stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. The idea being that with a few bucks from you per month, we can help get Free Talk Live into more people's ears, whether through radio station transmitters around the country or through the Internet or other methods of delivery. But those are the two primary ones. And you can help us uh, expand our coverage by going to amp.freetalklive.com. For a while, we were doing a matching fundraiser to raise money to hire you, Daryl, to do uh, some affiliate relations work for Free Talk Live. The matching fundraiser is still going on. It will be going on through October of this year, meaning that we've got uh, some generous folks who will match up to uh, $950 per month as donated by listeners like you. And Listeners have come on and they've uh, amped the sh- uh, amped the show up to where we've got around eight hundred dollars a month coming in for this matching fundraiser. We've got over three thousand nice. a month coming, or close to four thousand a month coming in total for the the amp program. But uh, the the matching program, we really did a very good job with that, and we raised enough to bring you on. And you've been doing a, a great job showing up on time, more on time than I do, and uh, and making calls to talk radio stations, hundreds of stations. You've got hundreds, I've got hundreds. So we're now doing double duty, essentially, the two of us calling stations, and it's working. We've brought a number of stations on board. So that being a success, we're now focusing the remainder of the fundraiser on doing Google AdWords and advertising Free Talk Live, because we're doing good with radio, but we need to bring more internet listeners on board, and we can do that with advertising dollars, and that's what the Google AdWords campaign is all about, is reaching out to people who are just looking for talk radio. Not necessarily liberty-oriented talk radio, although we do have some advertising pointed towards those people, but people who are looking just generically for talk radio online. Let's Let's allow them to encounter Free Talk Live. And that's what the Google AdWords campaign can do. You can help us with this and get your ad dollars, get your dollars matched. Uh, So if you're going to be a $5 a month Free Talk Live amplifier, you are essentially a $10 a month amplifier, but you don't have to put all 10 in because our matching contributors will do that. If you want to do 10 bucks a month, it'll be like 20. So get your amp dollars matched, become an amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com and get perks. You'll get access to the amp only call in lines, the amp only podcast. You heard Dave earlier. He was using the amp only call in lines. In fact, he's really the only one who's using them these days so it's easy to get through on the amp lines if it's like a busy night on the phones you can always uh, usually get in on the amp lines no problem so become an amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com get the perks and help us get free talk live into more ears if you think what we're doing is important then this is the best way to help us out 
And of course, another good way, if you don't have five bucks a month, is to just share us. You know, if you're on Facebook, Twitter, where, wherever it is you hang out online, share Free Talk Live, share your favorite episodes with your friends and family, and uh, maybe some of them will listen. So our toll-free number here tonight is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You know, I don't know about you, but I don't really want police going around harassing uh, people for drinking iced tea beverages from uh, cans in public. I, I don't think that's what police should be spending their time on. I don't want them harassing people drinking anything that's true. in public. I, uh, I totally agree. I, who cares if someone's actually drinking alcohol? What if the rapper in this case of uh, North Carolina rapper uh, exhibit or no, not exhibit. Extravagance. Extravagance uh, with an X. What if he was actually drinking alcohol from that can? So what? I just don't understand. I guess the claim, because we actually brought this issue up in Keene previously at the city council, proposed that they remove the open container ordinance, which didn't exist before the 1970s. Apparently every, everything was fine uh, up until then. And the, the claim is that, well, with open contain, without open container prohibitions, then there will be people just peeing all over the place. What? That was the best excuse that I had heard was that, you know, we don't want people peeing on the side of a business in downtown Keene, so therefore we shouldn't allow open container. But here here's how ludicrous the open container ordinance is. And I'm sure that it's like this in other places, not just in Keene. There are several businesses on Main Street and Central Square that have outside sidewalk seating. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I find really odd about the sidewalk seating in Keene is that you can't have more than three people at a table mm -hmm. if one of those people is drinking alcohol. But aside from that, if you stand up from the table yeah. and take two steps towards the street with your beverage, you now have an open container and can be arrested. <laughs> But if you're sitting down, then it's okay. You also cannot cross from where the table areas are and go into the restaurant on your own. You have to hand your beverage to a employee of the tavern or wherever it is you are. Because there's one tavern in particular that has tables outside during the warmer months of the year. Yes. And you actually have to give your beverage to an agent of the the establishment, the agent then has to take the beverage inside for you where you may reclaim it at that point. Now, I don't know if that's a state law or if that is uh, a keen ordinance, but it's absolutely ridiculous. It's probably a keen ordinance, like the you can't have more than three people at yeah. a table outside if one person at the table is drinking. Yeah. So even though New Hampshire is the freest of, uh, of all 50 states, that doesn't mean there aren't a boatload of issues that we have to deal with yes. here on a regular basis. We actually basis. have a list. Of things that need to be changed. Well, we just started that list recently, as a matter of fact, and uh, I don't know if we haven't added that one to it. That one probably should uh, yeah. should be added. So, uh, speaking of the Free State Project, if you want a chance at achieving freedom in your lifetime, then go to freestateproject.org and learn about the 101 reasons to move to New Hampshire. If you love liberty, if you understand that in order to be free, you have to allow others to be free, and that freedom means being able to live your life how you want, so long as you don't harm anybody else. Because I think... Th you know, Somebody like this uh, rapper in this case, uh, extravagant in North Carolina, he was great in this video. He really was. I mean, he did not uh, want to allow this officer to search his can, and ultimately he was taken down because of that. But he and he had a guy there recording video. I mean, this would have been a a, a good thing to happen in New Hampshire, where even more people could be there to back this guy up, like, because people who are willing to be activists. People who are willing to take a risk and say no to the police, say no, I'm not going to obey this stupid ordinance or your your illegal orders, because this cop was out of line, in my opinion. He had no right to do what he did, but he did it anyway because he's a cop and he knows he'll probably get away with it. But if you got enough people together who actually care about freedom, then things start to change because numbers make a difference. Numbers make a huge difference. Look, the police... I like it when they go after real criminals. Great, please protect us from murderers and rapists and arsonists and you know violent people. I don't have a problem with that. 
But when the police are going after peaceful people who have not harmed others, they are behaving as bullies. And bullies will pick on you so long as you're just you. But if there's 10 people like you in the area and there's only one bully, odds are good the bully is not going to behave in the same way that he would if it was just a one-on-one or a one-on-two kind of circumstance. So I think that what we've seen here in New Hampshire already in certain instances, like with the the smokeouts at the 420s here in Keene that were historic back in 2009 and 2010, and with other incidents as well where we've seen when activists outnumber the police, the police either completely back down or they act very, very desperate and they start to make mistakes. And it's very interesting to, to watch what happens when you actually have numbers on your side. And I think that ultimately the tides will really start to change here in New Hampshire. We've seen success stories already um, with only 1,500 people here across all of New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. But I think things will really start to change when we can actually outnumber the bureaucrats in any given instance. Like last night, I went to a city council meeting here in Keene. I'm sorry. Well, it's not a <laughs> terrible thing to to get involved in the political system. No, I, the, the worst part about the city council meetings is that they don't let people anybody speak. You know, that's not one of the counselors give input. Right. I think that's something else that needs needs to change. And that's a keen thing. I don't think that's all of New Hampshire. I think there's some places in New Hampshire where you can give public input at city council meetings. But uh, so I was there, but only the the room was full of bureaucrats. I mean, uh, everyone in the seats. Okay, I shouldn't say it was full, but of the people that were in the room, (laughs) the super majority of them were bureaucrats. They were probably only about 25 to 33 percent of the full amount of chairs. Most of them were empty. Uh, only about three activists had shown up, and the issue that was at hand was a potential increase in the parking rates here in Keene. And this is going to be a very controversial issue coming up here in town. We're working on it behind the scenes here uh, in the activism world and trying to bring business owners together to oppose this rate increase. But we really just need more people. I mean, period. Here in New Hampshire, we need more people who love freedom, who are willing to be active because we're only just getting started here. Go to freestateproject.org to check out that, and we'll come back with more about the police in Hawaii wanting to have sex with prostitutes coming up. Quantum the vibe, it's year 2523. There are colonies on Venus, Mars, and Mercury. People travel in bubbles, fly at hyperspeed. With brain implants and artificial gravity. A scientific genius and his clever assistant set out on an adventure through the solar system on a secret mission to find the key. Access new frontiers and save liberty. QuantumVibe.com from Big Head Press. The flooring experts at Lumber Liquidators have over 8 million square feet of top quality flooring that must be cleared out by end of quarter, March 31st. Get donor oak laminate flooring for only 49 cents a square foot. Exotic black mamba hand scraped bamboo for just $1.89. Even three quarter inch pre finished hickory hardwood for an unheard of $2.59 a square foot. They've got free samples at your local store plus 22 month special financing available. So go to lumberliquidators.com now to find the store nearest you. Every day you make investment decisions. When you do business with and hold U.S. dollars, you make an investment in the soundness of the moral philosophy and the potential longevity of the United States hegemony. People who claim a monopoly on violence around the world. If this is the investment that you want to make, please keep listening to LRN.FM. If not, stop using their currency. Use bitcoins. Get educated. We use coins.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. You're listening to the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. This is Justin Armand. And this is Jessica Armand. Here with your Liberty Beat for March 20th, 2014. 
Gold open today at $1,326, silver at $20.29, and Bitcoin is trading at $592. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Sovereign BTC, media, marketing, and consulting for the Bitcoin ecosystem. Operated by Liberty Beat founder John Bush. Online at SovereignBTC.com. And from Dorothy Erminger at Capstar Lending. For your residential mortgage needs, call Dorothy at 512-343-6494 or apply online at calldorothy.com. NMLS 216624. And from the Soleil School, enrolling children from 5 through 10 in Austin. Visit soleilschool.com. And now the news. Security fixes that address the problems Mt. Gox blamed for the loss of bitcoins were put into place Wednesday. PC World reports that the software, known as Bitcoin QT, has been renamed as Bitcoin Core. The rebranding is intended to show that it runs the core infrastructure of the cryptocurrency's transaction and verification network. According to the release notes, the latest version of Bitcoin software contains more than a half dozen fixes for transaction malleability. A surprise appearance Tuesday at the 2014 TED conference in Vancouver, Canada. Brian Hagen has this story. NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden, by use of a remote-controlled satellite robot, appeared on stage to address the conference goers, outlining why he took the risk to make off with 1.7 million documents from the agency. I don't want to harm my government. I want to help my government. Snowden told the crowd that stopping terrorism is not the goal of the NSA's massive surveillance program. The bottom line is that terrorism has always been what we in the intelligence world would call a cover for action. Terrorism is something that provokes an emotional response that allows people to rationalize authorizing uh, powers and programs that they wouldn't give otherwise. Snowden concluded his talk by saying, We don't have to give up our privacy to have good government. We don't have to give up our liberty to have security. I'm Brian Hagan reporting for the Liberty Beat. The Obama administration won't give up the fight on climate change. On Wednesday, the White House revealed a new website serving as a one-stop location for a massive amount of climate change data. The LA Times reports the information contained on the site had previously been spread across the websites of numerous government agencies. The website is President Obama's latest move to deliver on his promise to use his executive authority to confront climate change despite congressional inaction. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Brave New Books, now offering ProPure water filtration, the only gravity-driven all-in-one fluoride removal system that also alkalizes the water as well. Find them in Austin at 1904 Guadalupe Street or online at bravenewbookstore.com. And from Mass Appeal, affordable, high-quality printing, now accepting Bitcoin, online at massappealinc.com. And from Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. You're listening to The Liberty Beat for March 20th, 2014. Be sure to check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. On Wednesday, Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen stated the U.S. Central Bank would likely end its bond buying program by the fall and begin raising interest rates in the first half of 2015. Speaking at her first news conference as chair, Yellen discussed the bond buying program known as quantitative easing. Yellen stated that the Fed planned to wait a considerable time before pushing up interest rates. When further questioned how long this would actually take, the chairwoman's answer? Six months. The General Counsel in the Office of the Director of National Intelligence told the U.S. Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board that a recently revealed foreign surveillance program is specific with its targets and not bulk data collection. Robert Lidd is quoted here, getting a whole bunch of communications, hanging on to them, and then figuring out later what you want. This is not that. This is a situation where we figure out what we want, and we get that specifically. Litt was responding to a Washington Post report on the Mystic program, which reportedly is capable of recording 100% of a foreign country's telephone calls. You've been listening to The Liberty Beat. Remember, freeing your mind is freeing our world. 
producers of Sesame Street have responded to the controversy over the recent New Yorker cover that showed Bert and Ernie as a gay couple celebrating the repeal of DOMA. Sesame Workshop released a statement today saying, quote, We have never viewed Bert and Ernie as a gay couple, but as two friends who will do absolutely anything to get their rocks off. These pansexual perverts cannot be categorized in your narrow gay, straight, or bisexual paradigm. They're into some pretty sick shit. On their website, PBS released a long list of the duo's strange sexual fetishes, which range from shoving ice into their anuses so that they can sh cold water into women's mouths, to castrating stray dogs and then masturbating onto the animal's bleeding wounds. Although they're flattered that fans have turned the characters into gay icons, the producers explained that calling them gay would be inaccurate. Quote, they will literally f anything that moves. The producers also added that Oscar the Grouch is neither male nor female, and that its trash can is designed to hide a lower body that is just a Lovecraftian monstrosity of hundreds of interlocking penises and vaginas. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. You can take control of the airwaves toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. And we've got Skype. You can Skype into the show. Username is lrn.fm. Send a contact request and we will approve it. It'll be easy for you to connect with us from that point forward. The us tonight includes me, Ian, and Daryl. And we're going to go right back into your calls and thoughts. But coming up, Daryl is going to tell us about a really shocking uh, situation in Hawaii involving the police wanting to have sex, and apparently able to, uh, have sex with prostitutes. They're fighting for the, you know, they're, they're fighting to keep the right to, you know, do that deep undercover investigative work. <laughs> Let's go to the phones first, though. Uh, we've got Temper on the line on Skype. Temper, you're on Free Talk Live. Well, I wanted to call in and complain about Obamacare. Um, okay. I've been unemployed for about two years, and some of you know I've been trying to to start a business. And I was one of those responsible people. They talk about on the the news and stuff that they want. They want young people to have health insurance. And as I got health insurance immediately after I was fired. And originally my rate was about $190 a month. And then last year it went up to 274 Whoa. And then I just got a, a thing in the mail today that says that it's now three seventy four forty six. Oh. oh, my God. Plus a $4 fee. And that's with a $2,500 deductible. So they pay out nothing until I pay $2,500. Right. That's and ridiculous. And you are I a fairly have, young man. I mean, you're not. Uh, we met at the Austin Bitcoin conference. I, I would say you're no older than thirty. I'm actually thirty-one. Thirty-one. So. Okay. Um, and the only medical history I have was that psychic uh, uh, issue I had about a year ago. Well, they they can't charge you more for pre-existing conditions now. So what they're doing is they're increasing everybody's premiums mm. so that it's you know pretty level across the board because well it would be unfair to charge an older person with a bunch of medical issues more for their insurance than one of these young people so when was the last time you actually used this insurance that you've been paying for the only time i've ever used insurance is uh, uh i don't know if you remember but uh Back in uh, last year, I called in, and uh, the state kind of took custody of me and said I had mental issues and kind of locked me in a facility for a while. Hmm. Um, that was, the, and I disagree with all that stuff. Um, but that was the only time I've ever used health insurance, and I've had it my entire life. Now, after uh, that incident happened, were your rates increased? No. So this, so the rate increases are definitely due to the Obamacare thing. Yeah, basically the the way you know I called them as soon as I got this letter, and they have to be real careful about what they say. And they said basically that the way they determine rate increases is they take you know the amount that they pay out in a year, and they divide it by how many people they have. 
And so the costs have gone up. Now, I know for a fact that hospitals and, and doctors are not charging 40% more for their services. So, I mean, where else could that 40% be coming from? Man, that's because rough. The, the whole, we can't charge more for pre-existing conditions. We can't deny you for pre-existing conditions. And they are trying to keep the rates somewhat equal from the youngest people to the oldest. You know, Obviously, the older you are, it's going to be slightly higher, mm-hmm. but it can't be drastically higher. What does somebody do in a circumstance like this? I mean, I, I well, looked if you like a, your policy, you can keep it <laughs> and pay four times as much. What 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 was the price difference that you said, Temper? Just this year, it's like a hundred and three dollars a month. Wait, 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 no, it's gone up. You say uh, that much because it was like yes. you said it was like a hundred and ninety, and then it went to two seventy, and now it's over three hundred, right? Yeah, it's three seventy eight. 46. So you've just about had a doubling in your uh, health insurance costs. Well, in and re- remember, originally, Barack Obama said that the increase, there, there might be some increases, but the increases will not be more than your cell phone bill <laughs> or possibly your cable. Wow. Now, get this, though. I went to that healthcare.gov website, and I do not recommend anybody fill that thing out, but they have a new option where you can look at the plans without, you know, giving over your information. And I filled out that I make zero income, which is true, and that I'm not pregnant and I'm not a parent. And they said that I don't qualify for any of the Obamacare. uh, I don't remember exactly what they call it, but they basically— The marketplace. Well, they help you pay for your monthly uh, premium, but I don't qualify for any of it because I don't have kids and I'm not pregnant. Hmm. Well, temper. You need to get pregnant. Um, I'm I'm big enough where I I could maybe pull it off. What is somebody supposed to do in this circumstance where you want to have health insurance, but you're only willing to pay a reasonable amount of money? You just SOL, right? I mean, are there any other options out there besides no. just you know just uh, just being a cash payer, essentially? Well, no. And in fact, I'm going to, I've had insurance my entire life. I mean, not a day without insurance my entire life. And I'm actually going to cancel my insurance now and pay the the $93 plus 1% penalty now. I, I did hear somebody mention something about you could do a cash payment if you found a doctor that was willing to accept the cash payment. Mm-hmm. But doctors that accept cash payments cannot accept insurance. Really? So basically, there's going to be this whole other subset of doctors that will only work in cash. Good. I had heard that there were more doctors that were de- that were deciding to just jettison the whole insurance sy- system and go cash doctor. I'd heard there are more of those now after the Obamacare, but finding them, I guess, will be right. a challenge. Word of mouth, I'm sure, would be a way to do it, but are, I wonder you, if there's You can't go of- to a hospital. Yeah. It's even worse than that. Like, my uh, my cousin just got cancer, and she she's not a very responsible person. She didn't have... Uh, coverage or savings or anything. She didn't. She wasn't prepared for it at all. Mm. And because she didn't have coverage and she wasn't responsible, they paid for all of it. Temper, thanks for sharing your story tonight. Uh, good luck and uh, appreciate hearing from you at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Brother John is calling from Northern Michigan, listening to WNMT. Hey, John. Yeah. Hey, uh, why don't why don't you guys with the freedom people up there just get together and and uh, bunch in together and and uh, pitch in so much a month towards your own thing, have your own club or something for insurance? Instead of yeah, I don't know anything injuries. about group buys. I mean, I guess what you're saying is if you buy in bulk, you'd get a discount. No, j- j- just have your own thing, like the Amish do. They oh, they, like they, a mutual uh, aid group. They, yeah, that's right. Well, there actually is a group called Free Aid, FR33AID. I, that may be something that they'll come out with in the future. I think that's a fine idea. Mutual aid is an, an old idea, but it's a good one. Yeah, that's how the insurance company started. And then they took everybody in. They had the Lutherans, the Catholics, the Mennonites. They, every group had their own deal. 
Love it. Uh, br- uh, Brother John, anything else you want to share tonight? No, that's just, uh, I like your show, and, uh, and uh, it's, it's, if uh, I if I had time, I'd come out there and visit guys, you know. Right on. Well, thanks for the call tonight. If you get t- okay. if you get time, there'll be the Porcupine Freedom Festival in June, uh, late June. Go to porkfest.com, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T.com. It's a great time to visit New Hampshire and yeah. check things out here. But I love that idea. I mean, let's have voluntary solutions yeah. to government-created problems. And now, of course, secession would be a nice uh, solution as well or some level of nullification of the Obamacare. And I imagine there are some people who are working on the latter of those two in New Hampshire. To some extent. Yeah. 855-450-FREEZE, the uh, Pro XPN toll free line. 855-450-3733. Police in Hawaii apparently want to be able to continue. I didn't know they were able to do this until today. Have sex with prostitutes. More coming up. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. The Onion looks back at This Week in History. On July 17, 1980, Ronald Reagan accepted the nomination for president at the Republican National Convention in Detroit and delivered a speech in which he boldly promised that during his presidency, someone would body slam Andre the Giant while admitting that the road would be long and hard and that it might take as long as seven years and two WrestleManias to get there. The former California governor vowed that under his administration, somebody, perhaps Ricky the Dragon Steamboat or a hulked up Hulk Hogan would grab hold of the 500 pound behemoth and send his massive body smashing to the mat. The Republican nominee also went on to promise that by the end of his first term, Joni would marry Chachi Hair metal would achieve mainstream airplay, and Shelley Long would successfully make the leap from television to film. This is the Onion News Network. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. 
Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, you can bring up whatever you want right here toll-free at 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. Of course, you can join us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, so feel free to use that if you've got it. And if you don't have it, it might be worth installing. If you're somebody who calls this show uh, or has called or would like to call in the future, uh, Skype is worth, I think, taking a little bit of time to make yourself sound better on the air. If you sound better... We're more likely to keep you on to talk to you for longer because some people's phone connections are just absolutely atrocious. Uh, so anyway, you can connect with us. Skype username LRN.FM. There's a lot to talk about tonight, including this just shocking story, absolutely shocking story out of Hawaii. Daryl, we're going to get into that here in a moment. Blockchain.info, though, I want to make sure you know about the blockchain wallet. You can go to blockchain.info and get a free Bitcoin wallet right now. You've been thinking about Bitcoin. Stop thinking Take the first step, get the Bitcoin wallet. You have to have the Bitcoin wallet in order to buy Bitcoin. So this is step one. It's easy. It's free. Go to blockchain.info. And it's secure, by the way. They've got the, the two-step authentication. Two-factor. Uh, two-factor where you know you connect to the website, you put in your username and uh, password, and then they actually send you a text message with the details about the code that you need to get into the site. So that's extra security, meaning somebody can't just crack into your email and get access to the blockchain site. So it's very, very secure. In fact, it's so secure, it's encrypted in your browser, meaning that blockchain doesn't have access to your bitcoins, nor does anybody else, the NSA, the FBI, any any other snoops. So it's very, very secure, and it's free to get your Bitcoin wallet today over at blockchain.info. I've got one on my phone. I've got the Android app. I'm sorry to anybody who's got an iPhone. There's no app for you anymore. Apple hates Bitcoin and has taken down every Bitcoin app from their store, but you can still use the browser. Uh, if you're using a Windows phone or BlackBerry or an Apple uh, device, you can still use the just the regular web browser and visit blockchain.info and have full functionality uh, in that way. They do have an HTML5 wallet which makes things pretty easy. But the uh, the Android app is great and very handy. So blockchain.info, go check that out. Coming up still, we'll give you an update on what's happening in Washington State after the implementation of the marijuana legalization law. What are police spending their time on now? Because, well, they're not spending it on busting pot users. We can get into that. But speaking of busting people for doing victimless crimes, of course, in my opinion, you are not committing a crime unless there is actually a victim. Nonetheless, prostitution is one of those things. I think we need to have legal, uh, legalized drugs and uh, and prostitution and gambling. I mean, all of the, all, these are kind of three traditional vices that have no victim. You can argue that the person who's engaging in that particular vice is victimizing themselves. But if that's the case, then they should be the ones who are paying to hire thuggish men to threaten them. Like if, if that's something that they think is valuable, uh, that they need someone to tell them how to live at the threat of a gun, they should be able to hire someone to do that. I mean, we had uh, Miss Ann on, or a lady formerly known as Miss Ann, Melissa Hubbard. She's uh, she's a former dominatrix. There are certainly people who want to hire other people to tell them what to do. So yeah. they should be free to do that. But for the rest of us who just want to enjoy our lives in whatever way we feel is best, so long as we aren't harming anyone else. We should be left alone. There's shocking news out of Hawaii about prostitution. Now, the police and how they handle the prostitution so-called problem. Well, we know that traditionally the police will do uh, sting operations where they will get uh, you know, maybe a female police officer. They'll dress her up as though she's a prostitute. They'll put her on the streets. She will act as though she's a prostitute, entice Johns into making a deal with her, and after, usually typically after the deal has been made, like, I'll do this for this amount of money, then the arrest happens. Or the reverse could happen as well, where the officer is a, a John and is approaching prostitutes and attempting to make a deal with them, etc. But apparently in Hawaii, the officers, and, and maybe there's other states where this is happening, I don't know, but apparently the officers are legally allowed to have sex with the prostitutes yes. prior to arresting them. Yes. And Tell it doesn't more. say how many times they're allowed to do it either. Oh, wow. So, you know, theoretically, 
hey, boss, I need $1,000 to go investigate this yeah. weekend. And you're just picking up like five or six of them and keeping them all weekend. Don't really know. But I've got an article here actually from the well, ABC have, affiliate in Honolulu. You, you know how in some drug cases they'll make more than one drug buy? Yes. With our friend Rich Paul who went to jail for Oh, right, just to pot. make sure that you know the first one wasn't like a fluke buy or a fluke deal. Just to build up the charges, just to build up the case against the person to bring four charges instead of just one charge or something like that. And, man, you know, bring more pressure against the person to make them more likely to take a plea deal. Look, boss, I've got to really build up my case here i'm gonna need to have at least 10 encounters with this uh young lady I mean, this is it's crazy i mean if the idea behind stopping prostitution is to stop men from being able to pay for sex with women uh aren't they essentially violating the kind of the intention behind the law oh stop using logic ian <laughs> This is government we're talking about. So what is happening in Hawaii right so now? So the article begins, Hawaii law currently allows undercover police officers to have sex with prostitutes as part of an investigation. Mm. That provision of the law is coming under fire. Catherine Jean, executive director of the Pacific Alliance to Stop Slavery, says mm. the law of the land right now without that specific exclusion allows police to use sexual penetration the exclusion she's referring to was removed from the bill that would have stopped undercover officers from legally being able to have sex with prostitutes during their investigation getting that reinstated in the bill is what supporters hoped to do today and i took a look the bill has been deferred until next friday mm -hmm. so th this uh, so they were going to strip the ability for the police to have no, sex no. with prostitutes. The, the bill that they had a hearing on today, mm -hmm. as written, removes that authority. I see. But the police and supporters of the police right. are trying to get that authority reinserted into the bill. Hmm. The Honolulu Police we Department... We can't stop prostitutes unless we can have sex with them. The, the police say that not being able to have sexual penetration with a suspected prostitute would limit the type of violations that its officers could enforce. The department issued a written statement that says the what? original House Bill 1926 would have nullified the existing exemption, preventing officers from enforcing prostitution laws. How the hell would that prevent anything? Oh, it, it continues okay. with, with a quote from the uh, Major Jerry Inouye, who is the Honolulu Police Department's Narcotics and Vice Unit, who says, as it is, we are already subject to cop checking where prostitutes, where prostitution suspects do certain acts or attempt to do certain acts to determine whether the person is an undercover officer. Mm-hmm. Jan doesn't believe HB or HPD's claim and says none of the former prostitutes that she has helped has ever cop checked, saying we've had one survivor who was a victim of misconduct and she was in prostitution for seven years and not once did she ever cop check. Well, that's surprising to me because I would think you'd want to cop check if you were a prostitute. But we'll come back with more of the story little bit more. here in moments. Want to get your thoughts at 855-450 free. Are you someone who supports the police? Would love to hear you support them on this one. Should the police be able to have sex with a prostitute before they make the bust? More on the way. Free Talk Live. For years, you've been hearing about Herbal Healer Academy and how it's remained the leader in effective alternative and natural medicine and education. But how can they continue to hold that title for years on end? The answer is high quality and huge selection. Just visit HerbalHealer.com and shop online or request a free catalog. You're bound to find the alternative you're looking for. Did you know that Herbal Healer carries the latest, safest, and effective weight loss products? You can also count on Herbal Healer for the largest selection of safe and natural supplements just for children. And don't forget your pets. Herbal Healer even has natural mineral supplements for all your animals, including horses, cows, and birds. Take a peek at their online calendar, and you're sure to find everything you need and maybe something you didn't realize you needed. Visit HerbalHealer.com, and don't forget to sign up for the free Herbal Healer newsletter. HerbalHealer.com, working with the power of nature. 
What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. Ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. A meme is not easy to define. What is it? But you know it when you see it. Amazing. Don't tread on meme.com proves that. I feel so enlightened. Don't tread on meme, M E M E, helping you give the finger to our monetary system of deception by providing you with silver dime trading cards. Unlike today's dollar, they have value. And they look neat, too. Oh, would you look at those? Aren't those just swell? Don't tread on meme.com. While you're browsing their numerous silver dime card designs, take time to download the easy-to-use silver calculator app. This simple piece of technology lets you know instantly, whether using iPhone or Android, just how much your silver coin is worth. Find out all the details at don'ttreadonmeme.com. Now accepting Bitcoin. Don't tread on meme your path to a voluntary society with honest money. Don't tread on meme.com, serving you faster than the Fed prints money. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, you are invited to take control of the airwaves here, especially if you're a defender of the police. If you're somebody who thinks that the police are just, they can do no wrong, I would love to hear from you as to why you think the police in Hawaii should be able to have sex with a prostitute prior to making an arrest. That's what they're arguing for in Hawaii right now. Apparently, it's legal and has been legal in Hawaii for police to have sex with prostitutes in the course of an investigation. Uh, but but there's been a proposal, a legislative proposal to remove that. And yes. now the police are coming out in force to, as they always do, whenever there's a proposal to remove some powers of them, uh, to oppose that. And uh, Daryl, you're going to tell us more about it here in a moment. In fact, you said to me right before we came back on the air that you think they should be allowed. I, I, I'm coming around. All right. Okay. And I, I'll explain why. I will uh, definitely want to hear your explanation here in a moment. But in the meantime, I want to invite you to cashintocoins.com to, to learn how you can easily acquire bitcoins with cash. It's safe, it's fast, it's legal, it's inexpensive, and customer service is their top priority. We told you earlier about how to get a Bitcoin wallet from blockchain.info. Step two is to acquire the bitcoins and get them into your wallet. Well, that's what they can help you with at cashintocoins.com. Their rates are great. You can use a money order, check, or wire transfer and you can also donate some of the fee that they charge to charity. Plus, if you want to avoid a fee entirely, just order less than $40 worth of Bitcoin, and there's no fee. 
if you do that at cashintocoins.com. That's because they, they want you to explore the world of Bitcoin. They want you to get into Bitcoin and have no excuse because Bitcoin's an amazing technology. It's a decentralized currency that is also a financial transaction network that spans the world. There are millions of people using Bitcoin, and uh, you probably should consider getting on board. When you're ready, go to cashintocoins.com when you've got that Bitcoin wallet and you're ready to load it up with some Bitcoins or a fraction of a Bitcoin because you know, one Bitcoin's almost $600. Yeah. All right, cashintocoins.com. So we're talking about uh, the story out of Hawaii, this law that uh, they may repeal the police. Uh, they have the ability currently to have sex with prostitutes. That is on the table for removal. The yes. police are opposing it. What else did you want to share from the story, Daryl? And then tell us why you're coming around to the idea as to why the police should be able to have sex with a prostitute. So the article says that bill supporters emphasize how other states manage to prosecute prostitution at high rates without letting law enforcement use sexual penetration during their investigation. And Jan... Being, she's the woman from the Pacific Alliance to Stop Slavery, says, We feel that the reason why this law is on the books is because of age-old, very archaic beliefs about prostitution being a victimless crime and that there are no victims. And then it concludes by saying that there was a hearing this morning, and I went to the Hawaii government website, and the bill has been deferred to next Friday. Okay. So there's going to be another hearing on this next Friday, 10 o'clock in the morning. So the the reason that I'm coming around on this, and let me preface by saying that I don't believe that cops should be doing any kind of undercover stings. But if they're allowed to do undercover stings, then the crime should actually be committed before they make an arrest. Because okay. otherwise, you're just arresting someone for conspiracy to commit the offense. Sure. Okay. So let, let's just say, Ian, pretend that we're standing on a street corner. Mm. And I say, hey, Ian, I know that sign says don't walk, but let's go ahead and run across the street real quick. And you say, yeah, that's a good idea. There's nothing coming. And then I throw you in handcuffs. Uh -huh. I've arrested you for conspiracy to commit jaywalking. Sure. No, so I understand. That. The, the offense should actually happen before someone is arrested. Otherwise, it's conspiracy to commit the offense, but they don't charge the person with conspiracy to commit prostitution. They charge them with having committed prostitution. Yeah, I see where you're coming from there on a sort of a legalistic uh, basis, although I'm sure the laws are written to where making the negotiation for the sex for money is what the crime is in the places where that's what you get arrested for. So, yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly how the laws are written in yeah, Hawaii. I don't, I don't think it has to do with... Well, right. Yeah, and, I don't, I don't, we don't know, but it's probably it probably doesn't have to have to do with penetration. Or maybe it does in Hawaii. Right. I, I don't know. Usually, in Canada... The act of prostitution itself is not illegal, Okay, but the working out the deal is illegal. Right. So, you know, you, you couldn't actually walk up to somebody and say, I will give you X in exchange for Y. You couldn't do that, but you could pay money after the act was done. You just couldn't negotiate the deal. So I wonder how uh, prostitutes in Canada sort of work with that system i don't know if you know and you'd like to share it with us you can join us on the air here at 855-450-FREE that's 855-450-3733 it's just disturbing i mean this is a strange story shocking i'd never known that this was even the case anywhere that police are legally able in hawaii right now to have sex with a prostitute before making an arrest, yeah. presumably they can do it more than once if uh, if necessary, and it's just a shockingly hypocritical thing. Uh, I knew people. that in Great Britain, the police who have infiltrated various uh, protest groups, if you will, have not only been allowed mm -hmm. but encouraged to have sex with people in the group to, to gain their confidence right, to, get to then get information. Absolutely true. Um, and in fact, there was a, remember the story about the young girl who the police hired to, or maybe she was an officer, but anyway, the young officer, female, like 20 or early 20s, uh, was brought to a high school 
and yeah. her job was to get someone to sell her weed. So she made real friendly with uh, kind of one of the geeks at the, the high soon school. soon-to-be valedictorian. Yeah, and uh, she begged him to buy some weed for her. He didn't want to do it, but because she's a pretty girl and he was lonely, uh, I don't know if she did any sort of favors for him, but she certainly would have been within her the legal purview The article to do so. that I read said that she... Uh, not she. She didn't actually do. She but promised she, him. She right? promised yeah. favors if he yep. provided her with twenty five dollars worth of wheat, and she gave him the money. Here's twenty five dollars. Go get me some of this, and I'll give you some snuggle time. Have you ever watched uh, any of the uh, like the undercover stings for prostitution on, say, like a show like Cops, for instance? Yeah. You ever seen the parts where they'll bust the John? So they've got the kind of the reverse thing where the officer is the purported prostitute, and then they'll bust these Johns and they'll lecture them. They'll they'll give them this lecture about how bad you know how you shouldn't be doing this and da 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 and this is wrong. Well, what the, what the hell's wrong with it anyway? There's nothing wrong with getting involved as a a John or as a prostitute. It is a consensual activity between two individuals who've decided they want to come together for this purpose. How is it fundamentally any different than going into a bar and buying a bunch of drinks for somebody in the hopes that you uh, that they'll put out at the end See, of the night? See, if if prostitutes wanted to, you know, really go around the law, they would just hang out in bars and go tell guys, "If you buy me a couple of drinks, then I'll do X, Y, and Z." They could. That would probably be considered prostitution. If you are negotiating for sexual services, regardless of whether it's for cash or for trade. That's probably right, the but when it happens of inside of a bar, it's a lot more acceptable because you're just buying somebody drinks, and you're probably a lot less likely to encounter an undercover police officer if you're yeah. doing it in a bar. That much is certainly true, but ultimately, that is the that's the angle that makes it prostitution is that there was a negotiation rather than just sort of randomly throwing money at somebody and you know hoping that something happens. Which, by the way, I don't, I don't support that either. So, but. so I, I'm going to you know. Really annoy a lot of the listeners, not intentionally, but what makes that the, you know, buy me drinks and I'll sleep with you. What makes that different from if we go out on four dates, then maybe you'll get some action. What makes dating and prostitution legally different? The negotiation process, 855-450-FREE, that's 855-450-3733, and maybe some people don't like prostitutes because they short-circuit all of that. They just make the deal, make it short, make it easy and understandable, instead of all of it up in the air and confusing. We're coming up. Everybody wants to know, what can you buy with bitcoins? Isn't there like a Bitcoin general store or something? Well, yes, now there is, and it's at bitcoingeneralstore.com. BitBrew and the Bees Brothers have teamed up to create a place where U.S. customers in the lower 48 can shop for, well, anything with free shipping. What can you find at BitcoinGeneralStore.com? Bitcoin apparel, stickers, gifts, precious metals, physical Bitcoins, coffee and honey, of course, and electronics and computer accessories. The folks at Bitcoin General Store are true Bitcoin believers who don't even use third-party payment processors. They get their inventory direct with Bitcoin and pass on the savings to you. Shop at BitcoinGeneralStore.com with confidence that you are supporting a real Bitcoin economy. you got to see what they have to offer. Visit BitcoinGeneralStore.com today. That's BitcoinGeneralStore.com. Self-reliance. Survival supplies. Survival skills. National experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo. A must-be-there event. Presented by American Living. This massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Hear Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Prepper Network. Along with many other leading national experts. Learn life saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. 
Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Bring up anything that's all free. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we have waiting for you there. We've got archives that go back for years, all the way back to 2006, all for free. You just click and download. They're there for you, freetalklive.com. And please share them as much as you want. Do as you please with the Free Talk Live archives. Again, we uh, we give our website away for free, unlike those other talk show hosts who charge you for their sites. Go and enjoy on us at freetalklive.com. As we go uh, to your phone calls and thoughts, whether you want to talk about the police being able to have sex with prostitutes in Hawaii, and who knows where else. Maybe it's just Hawaii, but I'd like to know if they're there, if that's happening in other places. I was I was pretty shocked by that. Also, the, uh, the details on what's happening in Washington as the police have actually stopped enforcing marijuana laws, essentially, to, to the most, for the most part. But we'll give you some of the details on that. Also, your calls here with John, starting out in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. You're on Free Talk Live. John. Hey. Actually, my question is about Bitcoin. Sure. And, uh, y'all y'all uh, have um, commercials and Bitcoin, pretty much, but... Didn't they recently have some kind of situation where Bitcoin was hacked? And how does that – how do we support that if that was recently hacked? Okay, so the answer is no. They didn't have that situation. There was uh, mainstream media misreporting, misinformation uh, being put out there about what was one of the many Bitcoin exchanges – so Bitcoin itself is secure. Bitcoin is cryptographically secure. If Bitcoin could be hacked, it would have been hacked a long time ago, and uh, it basically is untouchable. So Bitcoin itself is a network that is impenetrable. The government can't stop it. The hackers can't stop it. It is very secure, and that's the reason. It's one of the reasons why Bitcoin is worth as much as it is. If Bitcoin, if the Bitcoin network were subject to being hacked then it would never have gotten to uh, $600 per Bitcoin, which is what it's floating at. It's like the high fives today, 590 or so. 
Um, so that is an indicator of uh, multiple things. It's an indicator of its, uh, you know, its stability as a currency. And because it's so stable and so reliable, people accept it. Uh, so because business is accepted and people can do business with Bitcoin, that's another reason why the price is is so good when it comes to Bitcoin. So to clarify more about what actually did happen, what you heard about, uh, or in this case, the misinformation that you heard, was about MT Gox. Now, MT Gox was kind of the first to marketplace of the Bitcoin exchanges. Since then, many other Bitcoin exchanges have popped up around the world, uh, and they are, they become better and more uh, you know more popular than MT Gox. But because MT Gox was first, they were kind of the go-to exchange. You know, if somebody wanted to get the price of a Bitcoin, MT Gox was sort of the place where the media would go to get the price of a Bitcoin. It was the most no noteworthy. Of the exchanges, even though it really didn't deserve its noteworthiness over time because they just got sloppy and they got bad with security and essentially they lost a bunch of bitcoins. Um, there was a, a situation. Well, whether they lost them or not is up for debate. Some suggest that there was a you know kind of an inside job robbery of uh, of MT Gox. Uh, I've heard other people suggest that. Mount Gox was doing a fractional reserve sort of lending. To where Ooh, they boy. would sell more bitcoins than what they actually had, so the bitcoins that were lost never existed in the first place. I don't know how you would do that. How can you? I don't think that's possible with Bitcoin. How would they be able to do fractional reserve if they didn't actually? Mt. Gox have controlled everybody's wallets. Oh, I see. So you're saying so they, they would, would tell take... you, Ian, you've got 27 uh, Bitcoin, but then but whenever you would do. Out. When you would do transactions, then they would pull uh -huh. from somewhere else to so, put in your wallet. So that's another theory. So either way, the point being that MT Gox was what was having the issue, not Bitcoin. So again, Bitcoin is very, very strong. There was a drop of maybe $100, $150 in value the day the MT Gox news came out about them basically shutting their doors. Yeah. Although um, there were some media outlets that were reporting the Mt. Gox price that had gone down to a hundred dollars, and they were saying Bitcoin went from twelve hundred dollars in late last year down to a hundred dollars now. But they were reporting a price from an exchange that was dead that yeah. did not allow anybody to either sell their Bitcoin and get cash out or to move their Bitcoin out of the wallet. Right. So to people who don't understand what Bitcoin is, or to people who want to misinform people about what Bitcoin is, this was an ideal opportunity for them to spread misinformation because they could say, aha, Bitcoin's been hacked, Bitcoin is failing, when in point of fact, this was the equivalent of like a bank failure. One, one right. location failing. That's all that this was, John. And then not long after Mt. Gox failed... There was somebody that had started up a small Bitcoin exchange in like Southeast Asia or Australia who, due to some personal problems, wound up killing herself. Mm -hmm. And news outlets were reporting the CEO of Bitcoin committed suicide. <laughs> Bitcoin doesn't have a CEO, it's a distributed, decentralized. Right, but because she was the CEO right. of one company. They were reporting the CEO yeah. of Bitcoin committed suicide. So, John, does that explain it for you? Yes, actually, a very good explanation. So, thank you very much. Hey, man, thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. Yeah, the an basically, the short answer is don't trust the mainstream media. They don't know what the hell they're talking about when it comes to Bitcoin. They, they either purposefully don't know what the hell they're talking about, or they're just lazy and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. My guess would be the latter. It could be both. You know, it could be it, both. It could be both. there are certain people within the financial reporting business, you know, like the Jim Cramers of the world, these people who have their money in uh, the old school financial, you know, industry and like investments and stocks and bonds and all that stuff. They don't want to see Bitcoin succeed. Right. They, uh, and the people that the, the people that you're talking about, they're the ones that are pretty much putting out the info. And then right. the people that... You know, don't want to go do any research. Right. They're going to do a Google search for you know financial expert Bitcoin, find something from Jim Cramer, yeah. and run with that. So that's why I said they're lazy. Oh, I mean, reporters are absolutely lazy for the most part. I totally agree with you there. Yeah, and they're they're very likely to just simply re-report some misinformation that they've heard from somewhere. 
uh, whether it's Jim Cramer or some, you know, bank Warren CEO. Warren Buffett. I've I've heard I've heard that uh, was it. Oh God, Western Union. Bank. Yeah, Western Union came recently. out earlier in the week and talked about how horrible Bitcoin something something. I would love to have seen that one. I heard Derek J talking about it on uh, on oh, I think it was early this week on his show, but uh, PeaceNewsNow.com. I would love to read those quotes because Western Union is one of the major, uh, I, I think, weak points as far as Bitcoin can take them out. Bitcoin allows you to transfer money to anyone anywhere in the world for the, a fraction of a, of a cent pennies. in some cases. Or pennies. You know, The most you'll have to spend on a Bitcoin transaction is a few pennies to get it from point A to point B. And anyone who's ever sent anything Western Union knows how ridiculous their rates are. I want to send $47 from here to the other side of the world. That'll be $77. Thanks. Oh, no, I've actually, I've sent uh, $50 from New Hampshire to Florida, and it cost me $30 in fees. So I, I spent $80 to send $50 to the person who was receiving it. It would probably cost even more if I was sending it internationally. I don't know how much it would be to send $50 to somebody over in Zambia or China or wherever. I, I used Western Union once, and it cost fifty dollars to send fifty dollars in the United States. I don't remember where I was yeah. sending it, but it's, it was fifty dollars. It's so, insane. They're like, "Here's a hundred dollars," and the person on the yeah. other end gets fifty. Right, and not only that. I had to jump through ridiculous hoops as well. I had to call and verify information. It was like, well, did you used to live at this address? Did you used to have this kind of truck? Like, they had to identify yeah. who I was. Are, are you picking up at the Walgreens on 47th Street well, right, or the, the person, Walgreens on 82nd Street? The person who's picking up also has to have a government-issued ID, and there's all kinds of restrictions, and it was just such an arduous, frustrating process, and then to have that frustrating process to have on top of that to pay a essentially a 100% fee or what was nearly a 100% fee. Yeah. It was insane. I could do the same thing. I told the person that I sent that money to, look, next time you need to come to me for some sort of, uh, you know, I don't like giving loans out to anybody, but this is an old, old friend. The next time you need to come to me, please let me do this with Bitcoin because I'm not going to go through this again with you. I'm not going to go through Western Union or MoneyGram or any of these other companies yeah. like that. So no wonder the the Western Union guy's flipping out. He can't figure out a way to profit from Bitcoin. So that doesn't mean he couldn't. I mean, if there were a company like Western Union that could somehow embrace Bitcoin and thereby bring their costs of doing business down, and somehow make money off of it by facilitating it for people. Oh, then, they could you know, totally. Yeah. It's just they're stuck in their old ways. Old businesses do things the old way, and they don't like change. 855 450 free. That is the Pro XPN toll free line. The latest on marijuana being legal in Washington. What the police are doing now. Coming up, you can take control here on Free Talk Live. Meowbit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. Meowbit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, Meowbit. Go to meowbit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T dot com. Safety, safety, safety. I'm saying it three times. Studies show you need to hear something three times to remember it. So remember, safety, safety, safety is important to me, me, me. That's why I love Granger. Granger has the products to help keep our facilities safe and people safer. Say it with me, kid. Safety, safety, safety from Granger, Granger, Granger. When you think safety, think Granger. Get it? Got it? Good. Call clickgranger.com slash safety or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com 
Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Friday, March 21st, 2014. Radio VR News. Air teams are coming up empty-handed this morning as the search for debris from that missing Malaysian jetliner continues. Correspondent Ross Simpson reports the U.S. is now lending a hand in the search efforts in that area. The U.S. is not leading the search, but is providing two long-range surveillance aircraft to assist five Australian aircraft. We have a P-3 and a P-8 dedicated to that mission. Pentagon spokesman Rear Admiral John Kirby says there is no timeline for the mission to end. I think the president made this clear. Secretary Hagel has certainly made it clear we're, we're going to, to stay with this as long as the Malaysians need our help. A Norwegian freighter is assisting in the search. China says it's sending three of its warships. I'm Ross Sims. And the head of Airbus, the world's biggest passenger jet, says there ought to be a better way to track aircraft. Correspondent Rita Foley has more. Fabrice Rigier says Airbus is working to develop black boxes that could be more easily found if a plane crashes or disappears, like Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. He says finding the black boxes is crucial to the investigation following an air disaster. He thinks automated messaging between the aircraft and the ground should be more frequent, and he says that's already possible with existing technology. I'm Rita Foley. In a pair of military sex assault cases, correspondent Michael Biesecker reports Army General Jeffrey Sinclair has been sentenced following a plea agreement on a sexual assault court-martial. He won't be serving any jail time. Judge Paul sentenced Sinclair to a letter of reprimand and a $20,000 fine, as well as having to pay about $4,000 in restitution to repay the government for the travel charges he made on illegitimate trips to visit his mistress. Meanwhile, at the Naval Academy, a former football player for the school has been found not guilty of sexually assaulting a female student at an off-campus party in 2012. Correspondent Jessica Gresco reports a judge said witness testimony in the case against Josh Tate was clouded by alcohol consumption and the passage of time. The judge also said that the prosecution didn't prove its case against Tate. The woman at the center of the case testified that she didn't remember the details of being at the party. She had consumed a lot of alcohol, and the next day she saw rumors on social media that a woman had engaged in sex with multiple partners, and she confronted Josh Tate and asked him whether or not they had had sex. She says he said yes, and that's the beginning of the case against Josh Tate. New York City's gas utility says it has made payments to 87 victims of last week's East Harlem building explosion. Correspondent Warren Levinson has more. The local utility Con Edison says it started making payments to residents a day after the explosion that killed eight people and injured more than 60. Investigators have found leaks in a 125-year-old gas main in front of one of the demolished buildings, but they haven't yet established a cause of the blast. In addition to the two buildings knocked down, several others were damaged, requiring residents to be at least temporarily relocated. The payments have gone to survivors and others displaced from their homes. Con Edison is not saying how much is being paid. Warren Levinson, New York. And ironically, no funeral is being planned for Westboro Church preacher Fred Phelps, who died Wednesday night at the age of 84. Steve Coleman tells us why. Margie Phelps says in laying her father to rest, There will be no eulogy. There will be no funeral. There will be no graveside service. She says members of the Westboro Baptist Church he founded will put the body in the ground. Period. She says funerals are considered idolatry by his church that declared God hates gays. The name Fred Phelps is synonymous throughout the world with Obey God. Margie Phelps vowed that the church's pickets and protests will continue. I'm Steve Coleman. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Zippel. And I'm Rick Young.
Like what you hear? You can always find us on the web at voiceofrussia.com slash US or catch us on Facebook and Twitter at VOR America. We are Radio VR. Following reports of a newly posted job listing at area marketing firm Swenson Digital, The Onion spoke to a few of the 1,400 applicants who claim they are, quote, absolutely perfect for this position. When I first saw this opening, I knew it was right for me. I've got tons of experience. I've got all the skills they're looking for. If you look at my resume, I've got everything they're looking for. I mean, I've held similar jobs like this in the past. I'm extremely driven. I really think this is going to work out. I've got a BA in marketing, which the posting said was recommended, so I think that'll bode really well for me. I've had plenty of team experience, and I think that would stand out, not to mention the fact that I'm great with web design and HTML, and pretty proficient with Excel and PowerPoint. Also, I think the culture is very me, you know. I think I'd fit in well with the other employees. I also think I had a great resume and cover letter. I think as soon as they interview me, they'll see I'm the perfect candidate. As of this video's release, Swenson Digital had extended a job offer to an applicant who happens to be a friend of the boss's son. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want here. Toll free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And join us online at freetalklive.com. We've got Skype. Skype on into the show at username lrn.fm. Do send a contact request first, though, before you do that, so we can approve it and get you in here, no problem. Uh, with you tonight in the studio, it's Ian. And Daryl. And still to come here tonight, Daryl, you're going to be telling us about a person who was ticketed for using an e-cigarette while driving. Yes. I don't know where that happened, but you'll tell us more coming up here in a little bit. If you want to comment on whatever's on your mind, you can join us on the phones here. Police in Washington, according to MSNBC.com, are actually spending their time investigating other crimes, as opposed to arresting countless people for marijuana offenses. Because as you know, in uh, 2012, the uh, folks, uh, voters there in Washington state, as well as Colorado, did pass uh, legalization initiatives that essentially took criminality away from uh, possession of cannabis. Certain amounts. Certain amounts. And uh, it's still illegal to sell without a government permit or whatever, but it's been a big, big change for those places there are some downsides, like the DUI laws are are pretty invasive, like they can take blood samples or something like that. Right. Uh, and there's some scary stuff that's kind of alongside of this. But the good news is... And what one point before you yeah. get to the good news, my understanding of the DUI laws is that those did not change from what the law had been under the medical cannabis. Mm. To where if someone had, uh, I think it was uh, five nanograms per milliliter of mm -hmm. THC in their blood, then they would get cited for driving under the influence of cannabis. And that's not a lot. And and that can mean that somebody who had smoked cannabis uh, several days prior would, right. uh, you know, if they smoke often enough, would still have that amount in their bloodstream and thereby get a DUI charge. So that there's some... Real bad parts about the the whole scheme over there, right. but the good news is the average marijuana user is not being pestered like they used to by the police. The story from MSNBC.com: the number of misdemeanor charges against adults over the age of 21 for marijuana possession have severely dropped in Washington State after voters approved a ballot measure last election that legalized recreational marijuana use. According to the ACLU, the new marijuana laws have allowed law enforcement officials to spend more time on other criminal offenses instead of marijuana charges. ACLU's Washington State chapter found that in 2013, the number of filed misdemeanor marijuana possession charges amounted to 120. Now, compare that to 2012, when it was still illegal for all possession of cannabis there were 5,531 cases in the year 2012. So Wait, is that total drop. cases? I believe across all of Washington State, yes. For all crimes? 
No, no, no. For marijuana possession. Mis- oh, okay. misdemeanor, misdemeanor marijuana possession. Okay. Went from 5,531 cases in 2012 to 120 cases in 2013. Huge yes. difference. Those That's thousands of people's lives who were not ruined by this particular plant the the possession of this plant and the men who will put you in a jail cell in all the rest of the 48 states for having possession of these flowers now if you're in washington or colorado you are probably not going to go to jail the state ballot initiative has freed up time for police officers says the aclu and has refocused the efforts that are typically exerted on misdemeanor marijuana offenses including basic investigation paperwork and court time to other criminal cases per day the data strongly suggests that uh, that I-502, I guess that was the initiative Initiative number, 502. Has achieved one of its primary goals to free up limited police and prosecutorial resources, according to the ACLU's Criminal Justice Policy Council, Mark Cook. He said that the hope is that uh, the hope is that could free up scarce limited public safety resources to focus on more pressing needs. There's still some concern about the ballot measure with police officers worrying about underage users potentially getting their hands on marijuana. Currently, Washington's law prohibits people from under 21 for possessing it, so I'm guessing that's where the 120 some cases probably came from. It's probably just, you know, my arresting. my guess is a majority would be from underage mm-hmm. and the rest would be from people that have like a pound. over whatever the yeah, amount is. That would be my guess as well. Uh, so, so yeah, if you're, if you're over 21, you may possess up to one ounce of usable marijuana, but numbers from Washington's administrative office of the court shows misdemeanor possession charges have fallen in the past two years among people under 21 as well. Last year, the number of marijuana charges was 1963 for those under 21 in, uh, uh, excuse me, that was in 2013. The number in 2012 was 3,469. Okay. So the 102... Is all people that are over So those are mostly over and outs then. So the, the, the 120 actually. 120. The 120 cases in 2013 must be over and outs cases. Or people trying to sell without the permits. I would guess you'd get a different charge for sales. Sales would likely be a felony charge. Without a permit, but I could be wrong about that. It's attempting to sell marijuana is going to be a different charge than a possession charge. So uh, going on here, Cook says that racial disparities still exist in the number of marijuana charges. Among the 120 possession charges last year, the data showed that black adults were three times more likely to have marijuana possession charges filed against them than white adults. The ratio also pertained to the data before the ballot measure was passed in 2012. So obviously changing the law doesn't stop cops from being racist, but at the very least it does stop the bulk of the arrests. And I think this is great news. I mean, this is solid news that legalization does what it's intended to do, and that is keeps people out of this horrible, this terrible criminal justice system that just destroys people's lives. We talked earlier about the the rapper in North Carolina who's facing ridiculous criminal charges because he had an iced tea out in public and was drinking from a can of iced tea, was arrested for that. He's saying he can't find a job because he's got this pending case in front of him. And this happens to a lot of people. You you're... And then the, the guy in North Carolina, his attorney, is telling him, just go ahead and take the plea deal. Right, and then get on take probation. The plea. And get on probation for a year. And, and we, know somebody, we know somebody here in Keene that the public defender told him, just go ahead, take the plea deal. Take the plea. Well, right, and the person did not take the plea. They uh, they did go ahead and, and move to Was able trial. to get a continuance. The public pretender was saying there's no way you'll get a continuance just take the plea i'm not ready to do the trial take the plea story uh here at msnbc has a poll you know one of their unscientific internet polls says with the dip in misdemeanor charges for marijuana possessions in washington do you expect more states to adopt legalization 93 percent saying yes and at a faster clip than expected in the past so I hope this is, you know, this bodes well for the future. Uh, certainly here in New Hampshire, maybe we can learn from some of the mistakes of the Washington and Colorado initiatives and actually have some sort of level of compassionate uh, marijuana legalization or decriminalization. There's a couple bills coming up here which are being worked on. The legalization bill was uh, recommended to ITL, as it's called, which is inexpedient to legislate by the Ways and Means Committee in New Hampshire. 
um, which it was kind of the second time it had gone around. So this the legalization bill in New Hampshire passed the state house the first time. Right. This year it passed the state house. It then went to this other committee. So it was in the criminal justice committee to start, then went yes. to the full state house, passed the state house. It was close, but it passed. Then went to the Ways and Means Committee for further uh because of the financial analysis. And it, it did not come out with a with a good recommendation. We don't know what's gonna happen when it goes back to the full house. I think probably sometime later this month or, or early next month. So we'll keep you in the loop as to how things go here in New Hampshire. But news like this coming out of uh, Washington State, it's great news. It shows that the police can focus their efforts elsewhere. And if they know that they can't get most people for possession of marijuana, they're probably not going to try as hard to even find the people with the ounces. So again, the 120 people that got arrested, presumably for having more than an ounce in 2013, you know, if the cop smells marijuana in a car now, that's not probable cause to search. Right. Because the odds are good. They probably don't have an ounce uh, with them. So I think there's probably a lot of circumstances where somebody who did have more than an ounce would have gotten caught in 2012 that aren't getting caught today. Right. Thanks to legalization. More coming up here with your thoughts. Welcome at 855-450 free e-cigarettes, although are the new thing for the cops to crack down on. We'll find out more about that. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Amanda Bosold here from Midas Resources. Today, March 21st, 2014, gold opened at 1339.50. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1387.93, 693.96 for a half ounce, or 346.98 for a quarter ounce. Again, that's 1387.93, 693.96, and 346.98. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. Immigrating to the Shire was easy. I was instantly plugged into a community of individuals who also care about peace, liberty, and justice and are willing to do something about it. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Did you know coffee is the second most absorbent crop on earth? 
Most coffee at grocery stores or in chains contains banned pesticides and has a high mold content. Seriously, we're proud to partner with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to provide the best of the best coffee, Buzzbox Coffee. Try a free pound today. You cover shipping. 10% of future purchases benefit our efforts to give the gift of human freedom throughout the world. At least 100 World Vision microfinance loans. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want. Toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Still to come here tonight, e-cigarette gets a man, uh, was it ticketed or arrested, Daryl Perry? I got a ticket. All right, we'll get to that story here. He was driving, apparently, at the time of using his e-cigarette. Our toll-free number, again, 855-450-FREE. And don't forget to join us online over at freetalklive.com. We've got listening options. You can get tuned in via our live streams, broadband, midband, and narrowband versions, meaning different bit rates for different speed internet connections. One of them will work for you, and they're all free. So go to listen.freetalklive.com to learn how to get tuned in. Over 140 radio stations air the show at various times throughout the week from coast to coast and beyond. You can get a list of those at listen.freetalklive.com, plus details about our satellite listing options, including free to air, meaning that you can buy some cheap satellite equipment, get it installed, point it at the right place in the sky, and never have to pay a monthly fee to listen to Free Talk Live or to listen to any of the LRN.FM excellent liberty-oriented content, including Daryl's show, Peace, Love, Liberty Radio. And also, you can uh, tune in to us via our webcam and the listen lines, which are phone lines you can call from any phone that can dial long distance and listen over the phone. So there's plenty of ways to get Free Talk Live into your ears. Most of them are free. Go to listen.freetalklive.com to learn more. Now, will new technologies enslave mankind or liberate us? It depends on who has the better ideas. In the book Quantum Vive, Volume 2, Murphy, our favorite mad scientist and his hard-drinking sidekick, continue their epic mission to open a vast new frontier for humankind. As they navigate complex political and corporate intrigues on a terraformed Mars and colonized Vesta, dark forces are plotting to steal, murder, and start an interplanetary war. Whose tech will overcome? Whose ideas will win the day? Quantum Vibe is a popular, liberty-themed, sci-fi adventure webcomic which updates daily at BigHeadPress.com and the latest volume with 161 full-color pages is available right now at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, and direct from the publisher at BigHeadPress.com. And of course, if you go to BigHeadPress.com, you can also read Quantum Vibe in its daily form and other uh, great comics. Quant- uh, excuse me, bo- uh, pfft. Go to BigHeadPress.com. Now, if you want to buy some of their graphic novels, you can do that through shop.freetalklive.com. Enter Amazon through the links that you'll find there, and Free Talk Live will get a portion of the purchase price. And then everybody wins. You get the great comics from Big Head Press. Big Head Press makes some money. Amazon makes a little bit of money. And Free Talk Live does as well when you do your shopping for Big Head Press comics through shop.freetalklive.com. More on cannabis here before we go to the e-cigarette story. This is from Dr. Sanjay Gupta, and I've been holding on to this for a little bit. This is great news because we read the story about uh, Dr. Gupta, who's this TV talking head kind of doctor. I guess he's been on CNN quite a bit. He, he over the years. I believe, works for CNN as their chief medical correspondent. correspondent. That's correct. And he came out in 2013, I believe, with a documentary called Weed. And he basically it was a, a mea culpa. He uh, he said he was sorry and that he had not done the research, that he had been ignorant and that he had been misinforming people over the years. And he was very, very sorry for it. And he was trying to make up for what he'd done to people because he was he was wrong um, about marijuana, especially medical marijuana. And that he was sorry. And so he was you know making this documentary about medical cannabis to to try to make things right. And now he's doubling down, he says, on medical marijuana in an editorial by uh, and for CNN. He explains, he says, it's been eight months since I last wrote about medical marijuana, apologizing for having not dug deeply into the beneficial effects of this plant and for writing articles dismissing its potential. I apologize for my own role in previously misleading people, and I feel very badly that people have suffered for too long 
unable to obtain the legitimate medicine that may have helped them. I've been reminded that a true and productive scientific journey involves a willingness to let go of established notions and get at the truth, even if it's uncomfortable and even if it means having to say sorry. It's not easy to apologize and take your lumps, but this was never about me. The scientific journey is about a growing number of patients who want the cannabis plant as a genuine medicine, not to get high. It's about emerging science that, can only, that not only shows and proves what marijuana can do for the body, but proves, provides better insights into the mechanisms of marijuana in the brain, helping us better understand a plant whose benefits have been documented for thousands of years. This journey is also about a draconian system where politics override science and patients are caught in the middle. Since our documentary Weed aired in August, I've continued to travel the world investigating and asking tough questions about marijuana. I've met with hundreds of patients, dozens of scientists, and the curious majority who simply want a deeper understanding of this ancient plant. I've sat in labs and personally analyzed the molecules in marijuana that have such potential but are also a source of intense controversy. I have seen those molecules turned into medicine that has quelled epilepsy in a child and pain in a grown adult. I've known somebody personally who was having epileptic seizures and they, were, uh, they had found that marijuana tincture, essentially an oil from the plant, was very, very helpful in preventing those well, seizures. Well, there are several different ways that you can make a tincture. Mm -hmm. One way that you can do it is to... Put the actual uh, the the buds from the plant into either alcohol or into a glycerin base, mm. and then it draws the THC from the plant. And then what? Do you burn the alcohol away? Or is uh, it you you could do it that mm -hmm. way, or you or could boil it boil it away. Well, if you boil it then you actually lose some of the THC. Okay, so do you just dose One it with the alcohol? One way you can do it is you can just let it sit mm -hmm. for like six months. You you need like so hard grain. You need hard grain alcohol. Yeah. So, you know, you're you're not mixing it into, you know, vodka necessarily. Yeah. You're, you're using, you know, like a gin or so, some other hard grain alcohol. You let it sit and then the alcohol extracts the THC. The glycerin base, I'm not exactly sure, you know, the recipe for how they do it, but th there's some way to where you're drawing out the THC sure. from the plant. And then you just let it sit for months and it evaporates? You, you let it do? sit, and then there's other things that you add to it hmm. to actually get it to be what it is. But I, I've actually used tinctures for my headaches and my arthritis. And it's one of the few things that works. Wow. I, I mean, the, you just but can't it's incredibly deny difficult to, to find, find it. Yeah. because it's illegal. Well, not only that. Well, finding cannabis is not difficult. I know the tincture, though, dozens it's, of people that I could call sure. to get cannabis. It's the tincture that's finding difficult. it in either edible forms or in tinctures is difficult because it takes so long to do. Right. There's not a lot of people that are going to, you know, hold on to large amounts of cannabis for the months that is needed to make a tincture properly. But if there were a medical program, then maybe it would become more available. If there were a medical program, if it were legal, it certainly would be. Then more there's all kinds of hoops and hurdles that I would have to jump yeah. through. Here in New Hampshire, I would have to declare myself a resident, Ugh. get a New Hampshire driver's license, which I can't get for other reasons, oh, man. and then establish a three and a half month relationship with a doctor. It's ridiculous, the medical program here, but we'll continue with, uh, it needs to change. We'll continue with Gupta in a moment. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. 
Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. MeowBit is free software from the Freedom Fiends that allows you to effortlessly view .bit websites. MeowBit works on all browsers. .bit is a new type of web address that's not controlled by any government or corporation. And we'll show you how to register a .bit domain today using a few cents worth of name coin. If anyone ever shuts down your .com website, users will still be able to get to your site using your .bit address in our free software, MeowBit. Go to MeowBit.com. That's M-E-O-W-B-I-T.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You can't win if you don't enter, and you actually can improve your chances of winning a prize drawing if you wrinkle up your entry blank. I'm Holland Cook from SurvivalSpeech.com, and I speak from experience. Why this works? If they'll be spinning the drum before drawing, your entry blank will move around more than, and not adhere to, other perfectly flat entry blanks. And if they don't spin the drum and merely reach into a box full of other perfectly flat entry blanks, many of which are sticking together, yours will feel different to the person reaching in. When you win, act surprised. And if you're looking for work, this is a metaphor. For more tips on sticking out in a world where just too much blends into the blah, 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 hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want right here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. And we're telling you about uh, Dr. Sanjay Gupta. He is continuing to uh, speak out about medical cannabis. He's now saying he's doubling down. So he admitted last year that he was wrong about medical cannabis, that he was ignorant, and he was he was passing on misinformation. And he's really spent, it seems like, the bulk of his year in 2013 doing research and really learning about it. And he's got even more to say. We'll share that with you here in a moment. But another amazing plant, coffee. The uh, coffee plant. You go to coffee.freetalklive.com and you can get a free pound of the best of the best coffee from Buzzbox. It's shade grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica. 
coffee is a very absorbent crop, and that means that the organic certification is that much more important. Now, BuzzBox is competitively priced with other high-end coffees, but they're doing something special at BuzzBox that other coffee producers are not doing. They've set up a program that allows people around the world to buy into their coffee co-op, and they're doing micro-loans. So if we get enough Free Talk Live listeners to buy their coffee at coffee.freetalklive.com, they'll finance 100 micro-loans through World Vision, and that's helping change lives by allowing people to make better lives for themselves through these microloans. And the microloans are going for all kinds of different businesses that people are wanting to start around the world in third world countries. So you can help these folks out, and you can get a free pound of coffee by going to coffee.freetalklive.com. You get on their auto ship program, you can adjust the frequency of delivery of your favorite type of coffee. And all you have to do is pay the shipping cost, by the way, to get that free pound. You go to coffee.freetalklive.com, and you can cancel your subscription anytime. Coffee.freetalklive.com. So we're uh, sharing the editorial piece here from Dr. Sanjay Gupta. He is following up on a documentary that he created called Weed with CNN. He's actually put together a second one called Weed 2 Cannabis Madness. Uh, and he's, he's been doing a lot of investigation. He's seen... The molecules of cannabis turned into medicine that has quelled epilepsy in a child and pain in a grown adult. He says, I've seen it help a woman at the peak of her life to overcome the ravages of multiple sclerosis. We told you earlier this week about the youngest patient in Oregon. She's eight or nine years old and has had her, can uh, her cancer go away. And her parents attribute some of that success to her use of medical cannabis at age eight or nine years old, which would be shocking to a lot of people. But it works. It allows her to eat food, keep food down, and they say that it helps uh, combat the negative properties of the chemotherapy that she was receiving. So Gupta goes on. He says, I'm more convinced than ever that is irresponsible to not provide the best care we can and care that may often involve marijuana. I'm not backing down on medical marijuana. I am doubling down. I should add that, although I've taken some heat for my reporting on marijuana, it hasn't been as lonely a position as I expected. Legislators from several states have reached out to me, eager to inform their own positions and asking, how, and asking to show the documentary to their fellow lawmakers. I've avoided any lobbying, but of course it's gratifying to know that people with influence are paying attention to the film. One place where lawmakers saw a long clip was Georgia, where the state house just passed a medical marijuana bill by a vote of 171 to 4. Before the legislative session started, most people didn't think this bill had a chance. More remarkable, many doctors and scientists worried about being ostracized for even discussing the potential of marijuana called me confidentially to share their own stories of the drug and the benefit that it has provided to their patients. I will honor my promise not to name them, but I hope this next documentary will enable a more open discussion and advance science in the process. Marijuana is classified as a Schedule One substance, defined as the most dangerous of drugs with no currently accepted medical use. Neither of those statements has ever been factual. Even many of the most ardent critics of medical marijuana don't agree with the Schedule One classification, knowing how it's impeded the ability to conduct needed research on the plant. Because if you want to research marijuana, you've got to get the DEA's permission to do so. Even the head of the National Institute on Drug Abuse, Dr. Nora Volko, seems to have softened her stance. She told me she believes we need to loosen restrictions for researchers. Along the way, the public has become intensely engaged. Our collective society has paid closer attention to this issue than ever before. And with that increased education, support for medical marijuana has only grown, including in some unexpected places. Pete Carroll, the coach of the Super Bowl-winning Seattle Seahawks, said the National Football League should explore medical marijuana if it helps players. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell hasn't dismissed the idea, saying that if marijuana is reconsidered by the medical establishment, the league would treat it the same as any other medicine. Goodell also says the NFL is following the science that suggests marijuana may help recovery from concussions. Which you might know a thing or two about, Daryl. Yes, I do, because I've had this nasty post-concussion headache for two years, six months, and four weeks now. And you say it was the tincture that you tried in the past that helped that give you some relief? That has helped give relief from the headache. And the only other thing that has given me relief is a fairly expensive uh, prescription barbiturate. Whoa. 
that has nasty side effects and is very, very addictive. Yeah, that sounds bad. Yes. All I know is I heard barbiturates were bad in D.A.R.E. class. <laughs> I've never come across anyone offering barbiturates on the barbiturates street. Barbiturates are bad, okay? Just doesn't sound like a good thing. Yeah, Reason. it's uh, barbiturate, caffeine, and acetaminophen in mixed together hmm. into one pill. And like a month's supply is like $60. Recently, I had the chance to tell him, this uh, NFL commissioner, that the United States already holds a patent on uh, medical marijuana for that very purpose. That is the uh, concussion thing. Patent number 6630507. Cannabinoids are found to have particular application as neuroprotectants, for example, in limiting neurological damage from isometric insults such as stroke or trauma. However, this particular issue still bothers me. How can the government deny the benefits of medical marijuana, even as it holds a patent for those very same benefits? Members of the Food and Drug Administration declined my repeated requests for an interview. This past year, President Barack Obama told The New Yorker magazine that, quote, I don't think marijuana is more dangerous than alcohol, unquote. And yet, as alcohol remains available to any adult, the president has not moved to remove marijuana from the list of the most tightly controlled substances in the country, which he could do. As yes. the, the head of the executive branch, he could order the DEA to remove that uh, from the Schedule 1. But he claims he doesn't have the authority to do that. So he claims he's wrong. He, he also claims that he has the authority to have the NSA spy on your telephone and you know read through your emails. So things that he wants to do, sure. he claims he has the authority to do. He's things he doesn't want to do. He claims he doesn't have the authority to do. Since I started my reporting on this topic, says Gupta, I've mostly resisted temptation to inject a subjective moral equivalency into this discussion, such as being alcohol against marijuana or reminding you cocaine and methamphetamine are actually more available than marijuana to patients, physicians, and medical researchers. They are Schedule II drugs with recognized medical uses. Or telling you that on average, a person dies every 19 minutes in this country from a legal prescription drug overdose, while it is virtually unheard of to die from a marijuana overdose. But with a discussion like this, consistency does matter, and terms matter too. We're talking about a medicine known scientifically as cannabis. In order for people to start thinking of the substance as medicine, perhaps we should start calling it by its medical name, something that was suggested to me by medical marijuana advocates pretty much everywhere I went this year. I've tried to pull together these latest developments in our new documentary, Cannabis Madness. Although the 1936 film Reefer Madness was propaganda made to advance an agenda with dramatic falsehoods and hyperbole, I hope you'll find Cannabis Madness an accurate reflection of what is happening today, injected with the best current science. You'll meet families all across the country, stay-at-home mom from Ohio, nurse practitioner from Florida, insurance salesman from Alabama, more than 100 families who all have left jobs, homes, friends, and family behind, and moved to Colorado to get the medicine that relieves their suffering. As things stand now, many of these good people don't ever get to return home. Why? Because transporting their medicine, even if it's a non-psychoactive cannabis oil, could get them arrested for drug trafficking. And so they are stuck. Cannabis refugees. We'll continue with uh, his thoughts. There's a few more of them. Take yours as well at 855-450 free here on Free Talk Live. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. I'm a very bad man. And today I watched you leave for work. Then I kicked your door and took your stuff. Without a door devil reinforcing your door frame, it was like you invited me. 
Don't worry, I'll check back in a couple weeks. Once you've got new stuff. <laughs> Door Devils are available at participating Ace Hardware stores and locksmiths. Or visit DoorDevil.com. Does advertising on the Genesis Communications radio network actually bring positive results? Let's ask Thomas Baldrick from Free Strike Guy. And do the GCN listeners let you know they heard your ad? Customers do let us know they've heard Free Strike Guy ads on GCN. Uh, they seem to be very loyal listeners to GCN, and they stay with those shows, and subsequently they stay with our business, too. Looking for positive results? Contact Lee Wickenhauser at 877-996-4327, extension 107. Free Talk Live. There's going to be no food by February. Oh, that seems a little extreme. I find that hard well, to believe. Well, watch it happen. Hope you find Christ. Oh, mm-hmm. good luck, buddy. Thanks. What really turned me away from religion was the fact that most of them are so intolerant and nasty. What do Your you mean? life will suck unless you find Jesus. Well, I had Jesus a long time ago, and he didn't really do anything for me, so I got away from that. Right, and I can tell you that uh, if you want to have if you want to have that attitude with people, yeah. like, Good well, you better con- find Christ, or you're going to burn in hell. Yeah. Then uh, you know. <laughs> Good luck converting people. Yeah, I really want to hang out with people like you, there, Keith. <laughs> I really want to hang out with people like you. So I'm sorry to those good Christians out there listening that that aren't like Keith, but it's the it's the loudmouths like Keith that uh, that do real damage to your religion and, and how people feel about it. Free Talk Live seven nights a week from seven to ten Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two. Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Burkridge, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, we're here, and you may call in toll free at 855 453. That's 855 450 3733. Free Talk Live is brought to you by Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. If you haven't seen it yet, what are you waiting for? You can go over and check it out for free. It's a feature length documentary film shot almost exclusively here in New Hampshire by members of the Free State Project or participants. In the Free State Project, and uh, it's a very entertaining film. I had the pleasure of being the executive producer. You can watch it in its entirety on YouTube by going to victimlesscrimespree.com. If you like the movie, you can buy it on DVD for under 10 bucks at Amazon, Walmart, uh, and a variety of other locations. And it's online. a different version that's on the DVD that's than what you can view online. The director's cut is the version that is on the DVD. Plus what, like seven hours of bonus footage? Bonus footage. Yep, and the and the commentary tracks more than one. There's the commentary track with me, Derek J, and Bo Davis, the uh, the editor of the film, and then there's the solo commentary track with just Derek J. So we really did pack in the uh, the bonuses on that DVD, and I, I had a lot of fun doing it. So go and check it out, victimlesscrimespree.com. Looking forward to having Derek J back here in New Hampshire. That's coming up uh, here within the next couple months, I think. So I, I want to really want to get him back on the show, and I don't know how I'm going to pull that off because I don't want to have to tell somebody they can't come on. Hold on. But There's an empty chair Friday on Friday. There you go. I like the way you think, uh, Daryl. Let's do that. Let's plan for uh, see if we can get De- Derek J to commit to Friday nights. That would be awesome. All right. So our toll free number here eight fifty five four fifty free. We'll tell you about the e sig thing if we get the chance. Want to make sure we get out the rest of Sanjay Gupta's piece here from CNN.com. He's their go to medical correspondent. He's changed. 
his position dramatically, 180 degrees on medical marijuana. In fact, now he says he's doubling down on it after having met so many people, more than 100 families he interviewed for his most recent documentary, Weed 2, Cannabis Madness. Uh, these are people who have made a huge change in their lives. They moved to Colorado from all around the country because that's where they can get their medicine. He says you'll meet them, and if you're like me, you'll be heartbroken to hear their stories. But you'll also have a lump in your throat when you see the raw, true love these parents have for their sick children. History books may one day draw a parallel between this chapter of medical marijuana and the story of David and Goliath. Playing the role of David Slingshot, which ultimately brought Goliath to his knees, would be two-year-old Vivian Wilson. She inspired her father to challenge the system in a spectacular way that caused a nation to stop for a moment and take note. For months, we have filmed and followed the Wilson family with all their trials and tribulations, and you'll meet the whole family in the upcoming documentary. I'm a father first, myself, and foremost. I don't want my children taking or being offered a psychoactive substance. As a neurosurgeon, I know that the developing brain is more susceptible to the most harmful effects of cannabis, and that brain development continues well into our mid-twenties. I also worry that generations from now that my great-grandkids will find internet headlines referring to me as the pot doc, I do hope they also will read the rest of the story and understand the lives of the countless people who have suffered needlessly when a plant could have helped. I hope they know that I've dedicated my time to researching the medical literature, speaking to the scientists in person, and piecing together a fact-based presentation meant to educate, not frighten. I hope future generations won't consider me naive. Yes, I know there's a concern that many people out there will feign ailments just to get marijuana, but withholding legitimate treatment for the needy is a very unjust way of addressing that concern. As a physician and reporter, I feel a deeper obligation to present the real stories, soundly supported with the science from all over the world. When I first apologized for my previous marijuana reporting, I was thinking about the impact that those, that, that reporting may have had on Charlotte Figge. She's a sweet little girl whose brain was locked in nearly nonstop seizure activity. Without success, she tried seven different medications, stringent diets, and high-dose supplements. Modern medicine had nothing more to offer, which is why her parents turned to an ancient plant. As you know, it worked. And as you'll see, she's one of so many patients out there suffering from different ailments who believe cannabis rescued them when nothing else did. For the conditions like Charlotte's, the American Epilepsy Society says there are a million people for whom existing therapies do not control their seizures. The society recently said anecdotes about medical marijuana give reason for hope and said it supports well-controlled studies that will lead to a better understanding of the disease and the development of safe and effective treatments. You should know that Charlotte continues to do well. When I saw her around the holidays, she ran over and gave me a hug. She looked me in the eyes, took me by the hand, and led me all around to meet her friends. She's a delightful, happy, and now healthy little girl. I know the discussion around this topic will no doubt get heated. I have felt that heat. But I feel a greater responsibility than ever to make sure those heated discussions are also well-informed by science. And he invites you to watch his documentary, which again is called Weed 2 cannabis madness it premiered apparently about two weeks ago so i'm sure if you look online you can probably find it good stuff we'll uh, go to your calls and thoughts here charles listening in west virginia you're on free talk live hey charles good day hey what's on your you? mind oh a uh, couple things uh dr gupta yes i think uh, that might be the dr gupta that was uh, david letterman's doctor that uh kept him alive with heart disease when the rest of them would. I'll take your uh, word for it. There's a couple of them. He had him on there one day. If I could see his face, I'd recognize him. But uh, the extraction of the oils and the essentials out of uh, cannabis is not that hard. It's a simple reflux process. It's sort of akin to percolating coffee. Instead of putting the coffee in the basket in the percolator, you put the cannabis. Instead of putting water in, you put alcohol. And here in West Virginia, we can get high-grade alcohol. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the alcohol percolates up, vaporizes, goes back down too. It just keeps doing that. So you wear that out, and then you put some more cannabis in the basket and do it over and over and over. Then you just put the container in on, let's say, the water heater overnight for a day or two, and uh, the results are in the bottom. There you or go. If you want, 
where it's hanging into the cannabis, just put some cannabis down in the bottom, mix it up real good, and let it evaporate then. Uh, this is not personal knowledge. I've read all this in the book. First-hand knowledge. We believe you, Charles. You know, um, uh, you're, you're right. It's not a complicated process, but I think the point Daryl was making earlier is that you know your average cannabis dealer isn't going to go through that process because right. it is still time-consuming. And uh, so while it's simple, it is still a process. And so, uh, yes, uh, anybody who really is interested enough could research it and set up a very similar uh, system in their and own And from what I've heard... If you do boil it, then you're losing some of the substance or, or some of the THC. So to do well, a tincture properly, you just need to let it sit in the alcohol for upwards of six months, and then you get the full amount of THC out of the cannabis. Uh, you don't have to boil it. Uh, it just has to evaporate at 96.4 degrees to go up to the top, then come back down through. You have a coolant of some kind, or just natural air coolant on top of it will do it. And then oh, right. something else that <laughs> people need to realize is there are two different types of cannabis. There's oh, cannabis there's sativa and years. cannabis indica, and they each right. have different effects that's true and the tinctures right. that i have found that work for me are 50 50 blends hmm. to All where right. it's half can or half indica half sativa well that's where you go into the seed you raise that from the seed uh cultivation uh is the beginning of uh, the whole thing yeah, well, that's another uh, trick part. Tricky part, though, is if you're in a place where cannabis is illegal, finding out whether or not your drug dealer is going to offer you uh, sativa or an indica is a very, very difficult process. Right. Usually, it's just you get what you get. We got purple Kush, and we got this other stuff. If there's even a name for it, right. Charles. Thank you for your non-personal ex expertise, or t thank you for relaying to us the things you've heard. About cannabis. You're very well. I appreciate the call tonight. I really do. Let's go to Nathan. He is on uh, the line via Skype in Texas. Go ahead, Nathan. I thought the most interesting thing about that quote you read from Gupta was that that line about subjective moral equivalence. Did you hear that? Yes. Is he because he's making a moral argument, isn't he? But he's unwilling to actually go go you know the full way and compare alcohol and marijuana well he said he's mostly resisted the temptation to inject that moral equivalence the subjective moral equivalency and then he goes ahead and makes several comparisons <laughs> right but not, well maybe i misheard it sounded like he was just trying to avoid that and make other comparisons and i said i think he's saying he's mostly tried to avoid that but then he oh, goes okay. on to point out that uh, marijuana is nothing like cocaine and methamphetamine but those are schedule 2 drugs well one thing that i think is interesting that gupta pointed out is we don't have enough research so therefore it should not be schedule 1 when Nixon was president, the Schaefer Commission said the same thing, but they kept it Schedule 1. We'll see you tomorrow night online. In the meantime, Daryl, hold on to that e-cig story. We'll see you tomorrow on freetalklive.com. The warning signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me, provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me, about my job, my kid's education, my money, my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis? Battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. 
Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. The Corey Moore Show is coming up next, live after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Friday, March 21st, 2014. Radio VR News. Air teams are coming up empty-handed this morning as the search for debris from that missing Malaysian jetliner continues. Correspondent Ross Simpson reports the U.S. is now lending a hand in the search efforts in that area. The U.S. is not leading the search, but is providing two long-range surveillance aircraft to assist five Australian aircraft. We have a P-3 and a P-8 dedicated to that mission. Pentagon spokesman Rear Admiral John Kirby says there is no timeline for the mission to end. I think the president made this clear. Secretary Hagel has certainly made it clear we're, we're going to, to stay with this as long as the Malaysians need our help. A Norwegian freighter is assisting in the search. China says it's sending three of its warships. I'm Ross Simpson. And the head of Airbus, the world's biggest passenger jet, says there ought to be a better way to track aircraft. Correspondent Rita Foley has more. Fabrice Rigier says Airbus is working to develop black boxes that could be more easily found if a plane crashes or disappears, like Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. He says finding the black boxes is crucial to the investigation following an air disaster.